Tomando chelas Chingando tacos Having some fun Chicano chofo All kinds of masa Fernie's all nervous Give him a beer Chicano chofo Este es el lazo Just lost a fan Oh well to shit Chicano chofo Ramon del guapo He tells good stories Let's interrupt Chicano chofo We love our fans We hope you like this If not, oh well Señoras y señores, nosotros somos The Homes Depot Band. En el Wiro tenemos Alberto. En el bajo tenemos a Camilo. En timbales, el Bembe. Y el maestro del conjunto en batería, Don Filemón. En producción, el Banquita Sarabia. El rey del teclado, Steves en guitarra. Y en voz, su servidor, el Miguelón Ramón. sus necesidades bautizos bodas, quinceñeras despedidas o nomás quieren tener una pinche buen cumbión en la yarda denos una llamada somos los Homes Depot Band Is, is that a uh, the best fucking the the Schwarzenegger movie? No, that's Will Ferrell way in the fucking. Uh, isn't that the, the old school or whatever? Oh yeah, yeah, with Blues Birthday yeah. and the fucking the <coughs> the KY Jelly fucking the luchador, yeah, yeah the luchando in the mud or whatever jelly. Or oh okay, I thought it was Running Man. <coughs> I win. Yeah, so fucking esa pinche rola está chingona way. You like that one? Yeah, dude. That's like a, like you know, at the end of the night, fucking yeah. When, last chance. Last chance, cabrón. <laughs> last chance, <laughs> que si que si te dio vergüenza porque everybody was taking out the the person you were interested to dance. This yeah. is your last chance, way. Shit, bro. You gotta be careful, way. Nowadays, where you can't you can't do shit, where you gotta be careful. Like what? What do you mean? Pues hay güeyes que se pasan, güey. They're drunk. They they get mixed sin- mixed signals. Empiezan a meter mano. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, they're fucking right away. They're having news conference and <laughs> they keep their hands to themselves, güey. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. You, you got fucking read the room, güey. Cause <laughs> my 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 homie has an uncle, older guy. 
de esos señores que le gustan los Yonix. Oh, really? Que se iban allá palidos and shit. Fuck yeah, those were the days. Fucking, you couldn't be walking on the street or driving because se le, se le, uh, a fucking señora would look at him and, ay, ya, ya quiere pedo. Yeah. Like, dude, yeah. she's just Fuck, looking, bro. She's just looking. She's, <laughs> está perdida, güey. She's looking for the <laughs> street. Like, you remind them of her ex. That was her money, bro. No mames, güey. Pero todas, güey. Todas, todas, güey. No, no matter what woman looks at that guy, they hey, all want to. Luego quiere conmigo, güey. Yeah, güey. Quiere acción, quiere acción. So, the, those Yonix dudes that would wear those little botitas, you know, the little yeah, botitas los botines, tacones? Los botines. You know what you're talking about? Yeah. They have the, the two for the fucking, for the fingers to pull up yeah. on front the, and back. Uh -huh. <laughs> front and back. Yeah, los canelo. <laughs> los, bot, los botines canelo. <laughs> From Tres right. Hermanos. Yeah, yeah, andale. Tres Hermanos. <laughs> Oh, shit, bro. That guy was funny, though, man. Oh, fuck it. Los compró en especial en la Canadá, güey. He was like, he was one of those first dudes that I that I met that gave me carrera as a kid, man. Because, I mean, he was already in his 30s, so I was like 16, 17. <laughs> and me decía, ¿Cómo estás, pinche idiota? And Ay, I was wey. like, oh, shit, fuck. bro. Oh, that's not carrera, güey. <laughs> that's <laughs> a straight insult, That's wey. abuse. <laughs> that's <laughs> abuse, güey. Maybe that's, that's <laughs> why I'm fucking rough, bro. It's fucking straight insult, güey. Yeah, I, I mean, it worked. Thank Out of you. nowhere, right? Hey, yeah, I appreciate that. The fucking career, because right? it made me a strong person. Right? Out of left field, they come this pinche idiota. Yeah, like, whoa, bro. <laughs> You're like, what? Get the pinche idiota, como come. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, bro. That's when you got fat shamed and fucking oh, fuck dumbed it. down in the same sentence, yeah, right? Yeah, fuck it. Que hubo gordo. Que on this pinche idiota. Que on that pinche idiota. Y no se reía. You know, <laughs> you know, those, his own joke. You know those dudes that, that laugh at their own shit? Como esta pinche idiota. I know. A couple of them. Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, they love it through shit. Yeah, I clown them all the time, though. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Shit. But yeah, fucking. Dude, that was a good fucking little rollita, eh? It always happens, you know? Oh, this one? Yeah. Yeah, we got Fucking, the... I remember back in the in the backyard days and the fucking backyard parties and shit. Mm -hmm. Siempre cuando cerraba la noche, como ponía la de Kumbala, la de este. Oh, yeah, the, the Maldita. Yeah. And that one was like, fuck, yeah, dude. Dude, before we start, I got I to gotta tell this funny story, man. I got I to give a shout out to uh, to this dude, Lewis. Um, last week, I was talking shit about his dad and his brother. Fucking... Um, When the dad was oh, trying yeah, to yeah, turn mechanic, mechanic, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I run into him where um, he, he his print shop, man. If you guys need any fucking printing, four four FM printing in, in Orange County. And so he's 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 coming up to me. He has some earbuds on. Oh, what's up, bro? And he's like, Oh, it's weird though, because I'm listening to you guys right now. <gasps> <laughs> and I was like Didn't you say I doesn't listen to shit Yeah yeah and No he does I just forgot where he, But um So So he's like Oh And then we started Chatting it up about shit Because we always have Like pretty deep conversations He's a cool kid man He's like I call him a kid He's still gonna listen to us And be like fuck you But He's like in his Early to mid 20s One yeah, of those dudes yeah. That like Are hustling, bro. Took over his dad's business and shit, or his dad works for him now. <laughs> and so, and so, and so recover we're, we're, we're at, no, no. I mean, he knows, he knows how I feel, bro. So we're having these fucking conversations, and then at some point, I was having the conversation with him talking about other shit, and then I put it together like, okay, he's, he's listening to the episode right now. <laughs> oh, was that the one where he's talking shit about his dad and his fucking brother? <laughs> and then I was like, I, I had to retract in my head, like, wait, did I say anything offensive? <laughs> yeah, I think Are you mad? Because fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, like fuck the brother. I didn't want to say shit about the dad, dude. I think I, I think I made fun of his mechanic skills, but no, you made the fun that the dad was doing everything, and the kid yeah. was just like, no, the kid. Oh, the guy was just. Standing uh, he around. loved it though, bro. He, he as soon as I told him that he, he he went and created an errand for himself, got in his car and drove off and put the podcast on the radio, <laughs> and then he comes back fucking busting out that <laughs> we were making fun of his brother, man. So I just wanted to. Uh, right. it, was a, it was a friendly reminder that I gotta be careful. <laughs> 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 fucking um, no, yeah. you don't, don't listen. Can't, can't, listen. Can't, can't be too specific about locations, bro. Because <laughs> right away they're like, "Hey, so what's up?" Because if I wouldn't have said that it's the shop next to us, he wouldn't have fucking known. Because he wasn't there that day. He was like even tripping out. Because I was like, "Hey, your brother was here." He's like, "My brother was here." Oh yeah, the, on Friday they weren't here, so if I wouldn't have said anything like, "Oh, it's at the shop next door," it would have just been a story that was yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. But since I fucking spilled the beans and shit, added uh, the coordinates and shit. Yeah. But I, um, but I, I had to think like, man, did I say something? 
Yeah, we got to be careful where we say we're in location or like, oh, yeah, aquí me la paso. I go here, like, and then next thing you know, boom. Yeah, next thing you know, they're taking pictures of you at Costco, where. That was a random one. I talked to the vato. Yeah. He said his sister is the one that. um, Oh, he blamed the sister? I guess. (laughs) (laughs) That's smooth. That's pretty (laughs) douchey. Hey, fuck it. Yeah, it's my sister, bro. My My sister took over my phone, bro. I don't know what got into it. My carnala, dude. I, I can't, you know. She gets out of hand sometimes. No, no. And I'm all like, it would have been cool if, like, if, uh, because at this point I thought it was him. I'm like, it would be cool if you just came up and shit. You know, say hi or anything. Like, kind of boost the ego. Oh, yeah? You want to get recognized? Uh, sometimes. Jesus Christ, bro. Lie. I don't know what your new glasses were. I didn't know who it was. <laughs> you know me? Of course yeah. you do. That's because I'm, I'm famous. famous. <laughs> you look like, you look, you definitely look like a fucking journeyman, fucking per, uh, worker that owns. <laughs> That has the stripes with that. <laughs> you probably have like a month vacation already. Huh? <laughs> I got, I got, you look, yeah. You look like a fucking uh, like veteran. Yeah, that if like, I, <laughs> if I'm the new guy at work, I would respect well, you. You walk out, you, look, you see <laughs> like, oh, that, that guy, yeah. yeah that's I had top a coat. Hey, that's, that's top dollar right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got him on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got him on Wednesday. And um, and I was reading into it, and it says you got to wear them to get adjusted to Oh, them. dude, yeah. I need to wear mine too, bro. So I'm wearing them, um, and yeah, definitely because um, it, like the first two two days or whatever, it's weird because if I look straight, it's okay. But yeah, it's peripheral. If I turn my eyes, you mm-hmm. know, without moving my head or anything, yeah. it looks like a fish lens. Mm, yeah. Like- a few moments later. <laughs> but, but you know what? Um <laughs> <laughs> do you do a lot of tech work or no? Not really. Like, what do you mean? At work, you're working like with, or you're like management, or what are you at work? No, I'm in. I'm in the. You're field. still using tools and shit. Yeah. Because I found that at work for using tools way, it's fucking. I don't okay. know. For me, it's a, like, set or yeah. or fucking. They get foggy. Yeah, not just, only that, but like um. Or like, con la máscara también, no? Yeah, way? with the máscara fogs up. Yeah, wait. Fog. And then like it's depending where I'm yeah, at. Because, you know the struggles. Yeah, yeah. because I'm up on uh, um I'm up. I'm up in an aerial lift or working or something, the eye causes around the like. Not only does it hit the hard hat, but then things hit you in the. So it kind of helps out because I'm wearing like safety glasses though. Are you? That's why you look like top dollar. Yeah. You look like, <laughs> your OSHA, OSHA <laughs> fucking management approved. material. Are you gonna? Are you, you gonna work for St. Patty's or what? Yeah. Shit, bro, you gotta be careful. Man. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Are you gonna get fucking shit faced with your new oh, glasses? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pisar? yeah. No, well, I bet. Okay, fucking fingers crossed, dude. These are. They were not. They were not. Uh, they were not cheap glasses. Well, they don't, I didn't say they were cheap. Bro. No, I know, but they were like. Why are you, right why are you trying to brag? No, 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 no it's not brag. I think it's just. More nobody's than even that. talking about fucking price. <laughs> way. No, I don't want to break them. But no, nobody's right. talking about price. Bro. Van a salir caros si ca- do you know how much this guitar was? A lot. But I don't, I'm not saying like. Hey, wait, look, my my uh, the, the Philemon band, yeah, but my guitar was expensive. <laughs> We want to talk prices. No way, I don't want to break them. No, I gotta be careful. No, 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 the top portion is like normal, but when I look down, I, I didn't know they politicize lenses, bro. It's the, the progressive lens. <laughs> the progressive lens. <laughs> they they want to cancel student debt. <laughs> I wanted the libertarian ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, <laughs> they're progressive. Everything's shit. political now. Yeah, it's shit. political, bro. You can't have fucking conversations anymore. Because they're regañan for being uh, political. Hey, I'm keto, keto. Oh, bro, you're fucking to the right, huh? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> like, Jesus Christ, bro. Have a fucking salad or something. Yeah. Everybody but he's always trying to tell you what to eat and shit, um. Yeah, or what to say. Yeah, that burrito was pretty good. Where am I gonna lie? Oh man, it, dude, it was like I, I felt good. I'm like, fuck yeah! You well, know? I'm the only one that never eats, but I'm like, you know what? I, I, I it's, a, it's a, I wanted to show you guys that uh, the I'm friendship, the, the friendship is strong, bro. Definitely. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'll get a burrito too, bro. Yeah, when I saw it, I was like, fuck yeah, dude. Got <laughs> all excited. Man. I did. I don't know how you guys don't get gassy, though. I, I had to excuse myself already like fucking 20 times to walk outside because 
I don't know, eh? You yeah. guys don't get gassy when you stash that, that we're used to it, I guess, no? Probably. Probably. Anyway. I mean, I get gassy, but, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'll walk away or fucking, oh, I, I don't know if you guys know, I said, yo me he filtrado unos cuantos right here, just talking. Yeah, I know, bro, but, I mean, it's, it's just part. Yeah, you, you guys haven't complained about it. Well, why, why are we going to complain, bro? It's, it's <laughs> part of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I include, filtre, like, <laughs> like uh, if I take a little trip with my chicken and shit, I include the time to let her fucking air out a little bit, way, because sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we want to be all romantic and the pinche chicle next to them all the time, but boy, what is it? Those are the are probably fucking hurting, yeah, bro. They need, to, they, <laughs> yeah. they need to let one fly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna excuse myself to go to the store or something. I gotta give her some space, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's the cabrón, way. That's the burrito one it's right the there. The cabrón, way. Yeah, way. Fucking guys, give your chick some space, way. They need a fart too, way. Fuck yeah, then. Some of these guys are fucking. I see them. Pinches the, moscas, way. They're the guys that sit in the same side as their girl when they eat. I fucking can't. Lunch or dinner. Well, I mean, like cabron. I, cabron, I mean, bro. I'm I'm a little medium husky, but I want her to have her space. I want to have my nah, space. Nah, you don't want her to be a, at, <laughs> a, at a hand's reach yeah. of a fry, bro. That's <laughs> she's a crotch for me, so <laughs> she's still there. Truth. That's your gesture. Yeah, she's truth, still bro. there. You yeah. asked for all the condiments to put a fucking wand between you guys. <laughs> 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 hey, give me get some syrup, uh, uh, sir. But uh, you ordered the steak. I don't care. <laughs> uh, and uh, bring me the steak sauce and bring me some ketchup. <laughs> and bring me mustard. And he places it all in front of his plate. Me pinche pared. Share. Bro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, um, yeah, she's got to go over it. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't understand these dudes that sit next to their girls. Fucking when they eat, way. What's the point of that? I don't know. I don't understand the ones that are hovering over them all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, que no las dejan. You know, some there's some that que no las dejan tener amigas, way. Mm. We talked about this before, but like the whole Vegas thing with chicks. Some guys, I get it, way. But at what point do you gotta? Fucking put your insecurities aside and, and not keep them in fucking cages, way. I don't know. Man. Hey, you, wait, you, right away. you can't tell somebody that they can't go somewhere. Well, that's fucking crazy. That sounds crazy when you think about it. Yeah. Oh, I don't like it that you go here. What? What the fuck? Why? What? I don't want you going to the market anymore. <laughs> yeah. What? 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 <laughs> the ever since they got the new girl car, you have to go to the market. Oh, shit. I need a fucking, I need a floss. Let me go. Let me, I'm going to go to the market. I've seen the mm-hmm. cajero. I've seen the cajero. <laughs> oh, that too. Man. And I, I feel like that's uh that's like uh the guys that do that they think they're not machistas and shit but that's pretty fucking when you that's tell insecurities man but when you tell when you could control somebody and tell them I don't like you to do that don't do that I don't like that what that's crazy <laughs> yeah because I, I don't I don't think it's usually usually it's not a request right it's like a fucking I don't want this yeah, yeah. but they can do it. Yeah, no, no, possible. I like to call those fucking friends out where the douchebags are like, oh, Dick, you're at a bar right now. What are you doing? No, you know. Yeah, but oh, no, but you know, I can't trust you. Well, Dick, what the fuck? Usually the, the, the los vatos that you have to call out are the ones that they know what they're doing mm-hmm. with and they think they're going to do the same thing. Yeah. That's that's the pedo, no? Yeah. That's the rub, como dicen. The rub? <laughs> Fuck, you set me up for that one. Man. Fuck you, Ferdy. It's gonna sell. Si quieres, I'll good, take that offer. That's a good one. Wait. That's a good one, bro. Uh, you should just record yourself saying that way. That way yeah. you don't have to say it all the time. I know, just fucking push, just the, push button. the button. Just push the button, way. But I, I brought one for Ramon, but I've been waiting for the moment. But I don't know well, what's that happen. was a good moment, right? Well, let there. me set no, him no, up. No. What do you need him to say? I'll set well, him up. I need him to talk shit about the French way, but. Okay. French? Um, <laughs> yeah, well, fuck, dude. Me can't hold those French. Ah, bonjour, monsieur Ramon. Comment ça va? Voulez-vous toucher moi? Moi, qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Voulez-vous de moi? Quelle heure est-il? Quelle heure est-il? Etienne, on se dose 99. When he was talking shit earlier, way before the thing, I was like. Damn it, it was my son the fact. Hey, they, hey, was, hey but up. if some French listen, were, were we pretty racist on that little skit right there? I mean, we're in the table. <laughs> that's pretty, I mean, that is racist. I mean, that's like, that's, that's like, not progressive at all. <laughs> that's like fucking somebody making fun of Mexicans. Yeah, like, like, speedy guns. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, that's you, pretty bad, bro. We need to add it to Sour. Oh, when you do that, that <laughs> the, the fake Chino way? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's fucking racist. Yeah, that's that's racist, racist bro. That's pretty bad. Ah, don't don't, don't do as fucking, we do. Uh, yeah, no. Do as we say, not as we do. See, let, let's lead by example. We caught ourselves there. Yeah. But we're not going <laughs> to yeah. edit it out. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> That's tame, bro. That made the cut. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A few moments later. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's skip that part. With. <laughs> Dude, that machine's been fucking clutch, huh, bro? It's been hooking it up. I don't even talk anymore, bro. Yeah, just yeah he just hits a button on. here, button there, and it fucking does everything it for Seems him. like you got used to it already. Yeah, it's just mm. the swapping over way. Yeah, fucking. He's got some new ones and shit. Some recorded ones? Yeah. So he's got some new ones. He's not like, I'm waiting for so this. So pretty soon we're I, not going to have to show up. He's I just going to push the button. Pa que veas. <laughs> Oh <laughs> shit, Ric Flair! <laughs> Take request, pa que veas. Yeah, but I don't know. Wait, eso sí no lo entiendo. I mean, because uh, los, uh, you know, what the people are calling them now, los tóxicos o las tóxicas. Yeah, know? where did that come from? Have you guys uh, 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 studied the history of that? No, shit? No, I haven't. But I mean, it must have been. I mean, I, it must have been. I, I mean, I started hearing it more in 2020. I noticed it on the on the trucks, the ones that usually the guys oh, with yeah. the Pemex stickers. Tengo yeah. novia tóxica. Toxica. I was like, what the fuck oh, is that? Tengo esposa y e hijas tóxicas. Yeah, Ay, like, wey, they yeah, have stickers for this? Yeah, even the what hijas, the bro. Fuck? With the Pemex sticker yeah. on the wait, side. But, but who puts? <laughs> that's what they put, bro. Yeah. Like, it's not their I fault they want a quinceañera, it. wey. That's the fucking tradition. Pinches hijas tóxicas want me to have a quinceañera. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, bro. This is out of hand. My esposa e hijas son tóxicas. Yeah. Tengo esposa e hijas tóxicas. Tengo, pretty soon I'm going to say, Tengo una madre tóxica. Tengo una madre tóxica. That's the reason I have, bro. Oh, shit. And, and when something like that happens, nobody can coin it, right? Like, you don't trademark that. Like, how I, does that work? I don't know. I mean, it must have come out in either in a book or a movie or a show or a radio or a song or something, but it just got coined. Yeah. You know, but, no. I, okay, I mean, we, we should start fucking trademarking our fucking little sayings, way. Yeah, no, right no. away. Seriously. Yeah, man. because, I mean, look at look at the whoever, guy or girl that started bringing up the toxic guy, everybody uses it now. Yeah, but what they what can they do? Are they going to cease and seize everybody? No, no, they can't, but at least they could honestly say, I started this shit. Or they, they could have a little R with a circle next to mm-hmm. their toxica. Yep. <laughs> Are yep. you mad? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how that works, bro. Yeah, so if I can, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully people can move away from that fucking those. It's, like, it's not good for the culture. Wait, come on, bro. Don't be well, a fucking boomer. No, 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 no. Not, no, not if you're putting a sticker that says my wife and my daughters are toxicas. Yeah. Well, well in reality, then, are they the toxicas or is he the toxico? Or, or what? How does, I don't even know how to If you're putting work. a sticker, I'm going to go ahead and say you're the toxico. Right? No. <laughs> you're definitely the toxico. Yeah, yeah, that's true, way. Eh? Yeah, but some people don't want to take accountability, way. Eh? No, they don't. Not it's right. like, oh, every every chick that I that I date is a fucking cheater. Fuck women, uh, bro. Wait, wait, hold on, bro. Right. Don't let's, you think there's something back. wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, there's a common the, like if everybody yeah. fucking cheats on you, bro. Come on, dude. I'm uh, playing with poor ladies, man. Yeah, fucking, I can never get a fucking faithful one. But and I'm like, oh, and right. they're on cheese pie and they're fucking on yeah, Tinder on the shit. Tinder and they're like fucking liking all the the fucking the all the toxic all the toxic guys <laughs> are the. Full no. circle, bro. Full yeah. circle. <laughs> like, circle. like, I don't know. I mean, there's got to, I don't know. There's got to be some kind of middle line, right? Middle line between. As far as what? As yeah. far as like, you know, like, like the, for example, like we've all gotten in trouble for either <clears throat> liking or looking or saying like, oh shit, you know, lo que sea. Mm-hmm. But I mean. What, On Instagram? Yeah. Or look at, you know, just in general. Mm. I was just bullshitting, <laughs> and you know this, man. <laughs> no, they don't but think. I'm sure there's a lot of people that have gotten in trouble for that, and then they're like, "Oh shit," you know, like mm-hmm. al rato, like there's trust issues. But uh, it looks, like, it goes against them I mean, the person, no? <clears throat> but like, I mean, there's trust, trust issues, but usually they don't start at that relationship where it's shit that you bring from the past, from no? the past, right? So at what point are you gonna be like, you know what, dude, I can't do this anymore. Let me just fucking figure this out. On my own, but I mean, it doesn't happen. We we always like to blame people for shit. Where yeah, I used to get in trouble a lot with the ex wife before. Why she's jealous? Fuck, dude, big time jealous. Yeah, like, ese pinche Fernando siempre está en la casa. Es un tóxico. She coined it. That's where it started. Yeah, that's where it started. <laughs> che Fernando. Amigos son tóxico. Che Fernando siempre fucking. Oh, I'm gonna go hang out. Esta nomás quiere ir a pistear. Ni te creas tus cuentos de ghost. But back then, the I, I, I wouldn't drink. I wasn't drinking. No, shit. so well, dang, you corrupted the shit. Know, after bro. after my Fernando divorce, well, because he was yeah he was yeah no the thing is I was never a drinker he was a maximum mandilon that's what I said bro I always <laughs> said I've always said it that he's always been one way but gotcha bitch <laughs> <laughs> somehow uh, somehow he thinks he's not way he, he just proved it right now with the story way. no so no no right like, it was just I, don't even know. I always uh, like to, I don't like fighting I don't like arguing in a relationship 
I really don't. No? It's just, I, don't, I don't, no. don't think anybody really does. Well, no, but, there's but, some people that really go, get off of that. But you, I mean, right. you could call it arguing, but like you have to have this disagreements. Right? That's, oh, that's part of being in a hence, healthy relationship. Hence what it led to the divorce. Yeah. You know? but, but I don't think there, no. there's anything wrong with arguing. Just be respectful about it and don't argue. Just have a disagreement and fucking try to talk shit out, right? But... I don't think some people I don't, I don't, are, not, are not for talking things out, man. <clears throat> but I don't think a relationship is like hundred percent. Everybody's always happy. All oh the time. no, no, you no! You have no. to argue. Yeah, shit. there's, there's yeah, gonna if, be, if you don't have the up and down, something's wrong. Then yeah, there's no there's no real connection there. If you don't give a shit about somebody enough to like call them out or they call you out and it creates a discussion, as for, as long as the respects there, I don't think that that's unhealthy. I think that's actually really healthy for people to to have shit that they don't fucking agree on. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm... Um, Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, but Your no. timing's fucking impeccable in this episode with those, huh? Yes, okay. It's like, I, I happen to have, I have, hey, to they, have it on the uh, right. These scripted episodes were a pretty good idea, bro. I like it. <laughs> now you know when to punch it. Uh, <laughs> right away. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's the next topic, guys? I mean, what does the board say? <laughs> no, I, I don't know, bro. I mean, you, it, there could be arguments, but there's no need to disrespect something. Like, I would never call my chick a fucking bitch or fucking all this shit where you're like, that, that's a little out of hand. Yeah, I, I Even like the women that start hitting guys, right? that's so fucking gross, dude. The ones that start hitting guys. Yeah, like they start arguing and they start fucking punching out of nowhere and like... Oh, start, start, you start swinging. Why, no. why you do that? Like that's fucking... Not, uh, that's but that man is what you got to ask yourself. It's como a fucking friend that keeps saying like uh, the Bill Burr. What did he do to deserve that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did he do to that's, deserve that, that? That's definitely a good point, man. But I mean, it goes both ways, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like why, Bill Burr says... Why do I keep fucking getting these girls that keep beating me up? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's this there's this girl I was reading about from uh, Pedro a couple of days ago. She fucking shot some dude in the head that was breaking oh, into her house, bro. Shit. What what was it, Pedro? Yeah, she what's, fucking what's shot Pedro? his ass. San oh, Pedro? San Pedro. Oh, yeah. I thought it was like a like a news outlet. I'm sorry, bro. I've been hanging out with a bunch of people from the South Bay. Oh, no, no. Pedro. Pedro. Yeah. So I she you, she yeah seriously <laughs> he broke into her house and she said uh, wrong house, bro. She fucking shot him in the head, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, she didn't fucking. I was like, damn, that's a good shot away. <laughs> like, not even fucking in the knees. Like, no, fucking. No, no. She probably just aimed at him, Wayne. Fucking, let him mean, that way. Wait, that's fucking. Maybe I mean, she she was shooting for the torso. He said, "Chol way, le di la pura pinche maset." Probably right, right in the bam, <laughs> right in the third eye. <laughs> <laughs> third eye of wisdom. Yeah, le falló that third eye. Wayne. Yeah, she was definitely. Uh, maybe he called her a toxica. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I stuck out on him. Fuck, dude. Well, I mean, at some point, I mean, that that, that profession comes with hazard, right? I mean, if you're going to be breaking into people's houses, if you're going to be stealing there, shit. There's definitely some risk involved. Yeah, there's definitely hazard on it. Yeah. Because siempre me, me fucking, I always trip out because, you know, you see movies or you watch shows or lo que sea, but <laughs> siempre when they get caught doing something like, no, no, man, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like, mm -hmm. no, fuck you. Yeah. Sorry, ni madres. You were, if I didn't catch you, you were gonna take off and score my shit. Shit, throw the book at him, Ramos. Fuck yeah, dude. I Fuck. don't know. I don't want to be. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up when you ran over that French lady, bro? <laughs> you didn't do any time. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I didn't run there. over her. I bumped her with the truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good song. <laughs> that a Fucking, you know, she came out of nowhere and then I, boom, hit her and she yeah, just she, went she was in your way, bro, for sure. <laughs> ah! Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Jesus, bro. No, See? That wasn't See? even a sound no, but, that, but that's a little bit. That's a little bit of his true fucking self coming out. El toxico comes I, out. I told him before we started recording. I know you, bro. Like you fucking have everybody fooled, but I know the real you. You bro. might have the internet fooled. You might have the internet fooled, bro. You don't I, have. You don't have I, me fooled. I know you. I know who you're really. Like, of course, my my humor, my my, you know my. A few moments later <laughs> <laughs> My humor or like the way I joke around and everything Yeah, I am very dark humor There is a lot of fucking dark shit that we talk about And that we clown <laughs> that maybe would not be appropriate But dark humor is like you talking about uh, somebody dying Or yeah, she's uh, fucking uh, uh, like that That to me is what, what's dark humor to you uh, The things that just push the envelope that are very sensitive to I guess the common folk mm. You know, like, yeah, like, I mean, how many of us, I mean, we've changed 
remember when we first started, like whenever we saw a screwdriver, we always said, Eso está bueno para matar un fulano. <laughs> yeah, but fulano, you, fulano. Yeah, fulano but a fulano, fulano used exact. to be somebody else. <laughs> yeah. a, a specific race. <laughs> but we've changed that, right? Yeah. Um, and and that's the thing. It's like, you know, that's the way we joke and we'll say it amongst us, but we won't say it on the, on, you know, when we're recording or anything because then a rato then we, like people are going to come at us like, oh, you guys are fucking racist. Se está revelando. Yeah, he's basically saying we're fake. Wait, no, 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 we're not. <laughs> that's basically what he's saying right no, now. No, it's not fake, revelando. but we, we've adjusted just like every... To the like, times? Yeah, to the times. You keep digging that hole, way. Keep know, digging bro. it. Let's, let's continue, bro. <laughs> no, have you not adjusted, Fernie? You've adjusted. <laughs> I got no comment with it. Yo no estoy pendejo. A few moments later. later. I mean, you're pretty deep in this one, bro. You gotta somehow <laughs> recover. Shovel it out? Oh, uh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know, Aaron. <laughs> I'm not sure where... I don't know where I could take this conversation, bro. <laughs> I could either dig a little bit more because I don't want my friend yeah, to put get the canceled. Yeah, if my friend gets canceled, I feel bad, bro. So I'm going to retract a little bit. Let, <laughs> let her marinate out of this room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take it as a towel. G- G- Ramon trying to fucking... And I so, like how he says we. Look at dick. Like, no, 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 we. Like, it started off at Ramon. Like está revelando? No, but dick. we. No, no, dick. We've like, all adjusted to no, what we no, like. No, what our no, phrases no, are. Pretend you know what I've been through, bro. No, no, no. no, no, no <laughs> you don't know my life. <laughs> you don't know my life. But, oh, we. <laughs> but we've made that comment. Like, it's a pinche. Está bueno para matar un fulano, So if this guy gets accused of something, I can see him fucking saying, oh, but we. Like, no. No, no, no. We, what? You speaking French now, motherfucker? Hey, Fernie. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Fernie? Oh, let's let's record an episode and call this dude out, bro. <laughs> That's a nice for the bad guy. He'll fucking throw us under the bus. <laughs> for sure. He'll never yeah. commit a crime with this guy, bro, because he's right away, oh, we? we well, 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 see, what happened was that. <laughs> see, Asifer, what happened was. Uh, he'll be so gullible. We, we already talked to Fernie aquel way, so oh, we shit. know the truth. Um, uh, yeah, well. well um, see, well, well, you know. well, we... Well, we were brainstorming. Because <laughs> <See? laughs> Esteban was like, se está revelando Ramon. And all of a sudden, oh. well, we. <laughs> no mames, we. Right away. People, some people don't change, bro. Right, right, Fernie? Uh-uh. <laughs> hey, you know what's crazy is I was reading that, that uh, you know, remember that CEO from Papa John's that got in trouble for saying oh, the N-word? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. There was an article. Yeah, Papa on John, no? Wasn't it yeah, the Papa John, John guy? Yeah, John something. There, there was an article about him not, uh, a few days ago that, that he was saying how it took him like two years to remove the N-word from his vocabulary. Where like two years of, of like some kind of speech therapy. Oh shit! Oh, to remove that shit from his vocabulary. So how often was he using That's it? That's what I'm saying. That's what I was, I thought. That was the first thing I thought. Is like fuck, dude. How, how long? How how many times were you fucking throwing those bombs everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> and this and that. F and M. F and M. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I used. He was. He had some kind of pity fucking article. But I mean, to me, it was. I mean. Believe it or not, that I don't know. I'm going by what he's what this article is saying. No, that's interesting. Wayne. But like two years to remove that, that's crazy, bro. I mean, I'm, if you think about it, I mean, to to take out a word out of your vocabulary, you used, but how do you get used to using it with Papa John? I mean, I used to say fool all the time, like, hey, what's up, fool? Yeah, but no one has a problem with fool. I don't know, but, it, to, but yeah. what, I'm, what I'm trying to get at is yeah. somehow it was removed from my vocabulary and, and all the other shit we used to say too. Yeah, because I'm just like, what's up, perro? Yeah. Like, or like, just not only that, but like, all around. Well, I you know? had some more vulgar ones that I, I, I've, I've streamlined my vocabulary. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, in, in Linwood, Roy, in the 90s, we used to yeah. say bitch. Like, oh, that yeah. bitch is hot. Or, oh, yeah. hey, what's oh, up with that, that bitch? bitch over there. And then later on, you're like, wait, what the fuck? Not only that, but I mean, remember, we've talked about this, that N-word. Yeah. Like in the slang word, we used to say it all the time. I, I've never really but used that's what I, word that's word. what I. But that's what I, I, I was thinking. Like, we don't give ourselves any fucking credit, bro, because it took this guy two years to remove one word. Yeah. How many fucking words have we removed? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> We fucking do. No, la pelas, cabrón. Because they, they, we this guy removes one word two years, he gets an article. We don't yeah, get shit, bro. Fuck, dude. We, there's so many <laughs> shit that we stop using. Yeah, we don't get shit, bro. We don't use fool. We, I, I, Some people I, still use fool. Well, I mean, at least I What's don't know. Us. Hey, how's it going, fool? I well, stopped saying fool because I, I told you guys that I told a gangster one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I called him a fool in the what's liquor up, store. Fool? Hey, what's up, fool? He's like, what you call me, homie? <laughs> oh, shit. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, I can't uh, be saying that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I need a, speech, ther- a <laughs> speech therapist for this. <laughs> it took him a 10-second speech therapy lesson. That's it, bro. Uh, two years of work in 10 seconds, I was done, bro. I was scared straight. I got you, homie. Yeah, I, was, I was scared straight, bro. Never again maybe did I call what, a cholo. Maybe that's what Papa John needed, a cholo. 
Polo. Yeah, maybe. Or a homie. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Bro. But two years, bro, you wanted a metal and shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, we just gotta, like, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. I think as you're maturing, I mean, you can't be sounding, I mean. A uh, hoodish, can you? You don't think so? I mean, I don't know. I'm not here but, to judge people. No, with. but like, look at the the, the type <laughs> of uh, like, for example, like your work environment. You're not working, you know, depending where you're working at. Like, I mean, it's like the environment of your of your surroundings. Yeah, but like, I, if I'll you're sorry, working bro. in a corporate office or if you're working in a like place, you know, in a, in a an environment where it's not just rass hours, just not like you know the the <sighs> your. Your up your neighborhood or anything like that. You can't be like walking up to a not an executive, but like you know someone in the office. Like, hey, what's up, fool? Well, for most of us, English is our second language. Way mm-hmm. we I learned Spanish. That was my first language. Yeah. So I'm gonna talk it with an accent because it's not my first language. So sometimes we don't think of it like we have we have that a little bit of edge because of the hood, but we still have it. Where even though we try to read books or, or work on our shit, it still comes out, bro. It's something that you just have to fucking accept and be like, you know what? I'm not going to change because you're going to judge me because I'm this fucking person, this and that. And um, and I think that it's something that we just can't get away from, dude. It's going to be there forever. But we all have an accent when we mm-hmm. talk, dude. Yeah, I mean, but, but like, for example, you like you're, you deal a lot with the warehouse people, right? Mm-hmm. And you talk to them in Spanish and you do your thing, whatever. Mm-hmm. But when you have to talk to like you change it. the owner or the, the manager or whatever, you're like, yeah. you change it. Like, okay, so I worked on this unit. This yeah, is what I, I change did. it up. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to be like, yo, le cabrón, mira, nah. chequela. Mira, esto lo que le hice. Hey, cual, no, while you walk into the warehouse, you're like, so cual la pinche lamina que estoy tirando aceite. No, ustedes cabrón se la jalan aquí. Fuck, no, aquí les vamos a mandar una pinche tarjeta de navidad and aquí nos dan un chingo de jale and then the owner comes the owner comes hey how's it going Matt oh cool yeah you know what we got it Matt we'll take care of it don't worry about it it's just you. you know tell your guys to just be a little careful you know, he's off on the pedal. No more, no more, no more, no more forklift races. No, and tell, then I'm the blanco to come. Yeah, and, and then I'm down. walking back to my fucking van through the warehouse. And I'm like, hey, culeros, jalanse la putos. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to change it up. Bro. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you have to. Right? That's that's that, a skill the right room. there, bro. That is read a skill. Room. That's a fucking skill that we and don't give we, ourselves credit. We don't even get articles for that. <laughs> 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 yeah, we don't get they no should respect. do an article about us. Yeah. You know? Two like, years to remove the N word? Oh, I got a list for you, fucker. <laughs> this is what I removed. I, I'm going to send you on a fucking homie to get you straight. <laughs> and, 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 and it's just going to It's just oh, going to cost you a fucking uh, a Ford Loco and a Jesus fucking Christ, smokes. Jesus Christ, bro. It's, it's situations like <laughs> a this. A pack of smokes and a Ford Loco. <laughs> it's situations like this that I wish I had that video where access to that liquor store video to see myself getting punked. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, I'm done and, with that. And he never said <laughs> Fool again, <laughs> and that was the last time you used fool. fool. Oh, I, I had a perfect one for that one. Hey, what's up, fool? <laughs> oh shit, what did I do? You know that moment when you know you fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? When Esteban's trying to keep it real. Yeah, no, keeping I, it real. I remember that quick, bro. <laughs> I had a few of those moments. I was talking about it one the other day with my friend because when I used to work at the magazine uh, distribution place, um, they put me in in charge of like ordering the stock. Where I don't know what the fuck I was doing, bro. I come from the merchandising side of things, and then all of a sudden they want me to order the stock, and I didn't know how much to order. I just was doing all this shit where, and fucking um. I would have nightmares, bro. This is how stressful this fucking job was. I would have nightmares, Dick, that I would walk into work on a Monday morning and all the magazines and books were empty because I didn't order enough product. And I'll wake up. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so one of the times right, that actually happened where the fucking stores were empty and fucking the authors and shit were pissed off because that, that, that place put you on blast, bro, because... There was authors and publishers that paid a certain amount of money to be placed in certain areas in the fucking store. And the airport where everybody travels in a fucking yeah. airport. So if, if the if fucking uh, John Grisham or James Patterson or one of these guys would be uh, going on vacation with his family and he would happen to be in the terminal, he would walk in to see if if, if, his if, book. if it's books fucking place where he's, it's supposed to be placed. And if it's not placed... You know, blackberries were around or whatever. He would take a picture, send it. What the fuck's this? I would get an email fucking Saturday. Hey, bro, what the fuck? You didn't order it? Nah, they're, they're fucking bitching. So this was the kind of job that it was. Where So one day I fucking had the store kind of empty. And the boss brings me into the fucking room. And he's basically, I was a kid, wait, fucking 19, 20. He's like, um, 
so what's going on? And I had some fucking, you know, dude, this fucking guy was in my in my ear, older dude that was telling me like, oh, no, bro, that's bullshit, bro. They didn't fucking train you, bro. That's bullshit. So I was feeling a little weak, fucking like, yeah, I fucked up. And then this would kind of perk me up like. Oh, hey, fuck that, bro. They yeah, didn't train you. <laughs> they didn't train you, bro. That's not your fault, bro. And so I came with that fucking mentality. my posture. Yeah, mentality. My posture was up. Like, I didn't get the proper training. So I fucking, I told uh, I told this fucking dude, I was like, well, honestly, I, nobody trained me. Like, I just was just put in there. And he was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. So let me get this straight. You're telling me that the reason that the, that, that the shelves are empty is because that's my fault? Because I didn't train you? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly that's exactly that moment where I was like, "Oh fuck!" Oh yeah, I'll tell you where I never was in that fucking office again. Well, <laughs> so, but hey, it took no that article moment. for that, right? No, I don't get a fucking get article. article. <laughs> <laughs> oh no shit! No but article. It, for but it's that. those. I'm sure people listening to this have those moments where where you're just like you get fucking checked, bro. And yeah. you get that reality, like, oh shit, yeah, you're, you're fuck, bro. Yeah, man, like, I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Bob, Bob Reese, dude, I'll never forget his name. He passed on years later, way, but Bob Reese taught me that way. Like, it's your fault, way. You shouldn't blame other people for your shit. If you need the help, ask for it. Mm-hmm. Don't before, fuck, before you fuck up. Before, don't fucking say like, hey, way, that's that's your fault, bro. I didn't get training. Like, he he taught me a lesson. That I still take to this day where and, and i think it's important for us to feel those scared moments that you're like fuck hey what'd you say homie oh just that's the last time i said that shit bro <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared straight you guys don't have those moments oh fuck i'm yeah, pretty dude. sure i do yeah you guys have those moments bro i have i have like a fucking uh i mean i can't remember offhand but i've i've had situations where i got called out by mm-hmm. either at the annals or Either at work, the guy with the high seniority, or a boss, mm. or anybody. That's like a different that. kind of veterano. Mm. Oh no, veteranos <laughs> and the work veterano. Yeah, they're in the same sentence. Shit, but right fuck away. that. No, we're stuck. You so, need a little fucking chin check. But I, but where are we going in society where where you can't even fucking Call clown out? some fool? See, I'm saying fool again. What the fuck? No, oh, shit. Where's the Jesus homie? Jesus Christ, I need two years. <laughs> put, put out some four locos outside. <laughs> it's all this fool's gone wild shit that everybody's fucking sharing, bro. I'm um, starting to... Uh, yeah, fool's the, gone wild. The, the fool community. What's it called? Fool something? Fool's gone wild, yeah. Is that what it's called? Fool's gone wild? Yeah. Is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, some yeah. dude sent me a DM the other day. Fool's gone wild. Some guy fucking on the high speed... Pursuit on the streets on the forklift way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't that an old one? I don't know, man. They just sent it to me, bro. I was like, what? Shit, no? I'm like, hey, I fixed that unit. And then your sister <laughs> sent me one, que Ramon. It's this fucking homie in the beach. With uh, with his shorts and the socks oh, on. Oh yeah, he's like walking down the beach, <laughs> like this fool right here, walking with the high socks. Make sure you don't get no sand on his ankles. <laughs> the other day, your sister uh, added me on the on the thread that I wasn't supposed to be on. You know, a bunch of of mujeres chismeando, uh-huh. <laughs> and she fucking took a picture of of this dude on a bicycle, part of a unknown. I'm not gonna mention the motorcycle organization that he was a part of, uh-huh. but it was on his vest. And she fucking sent the picture like with hard eyes kind of shit. And I was in that thread. And then the girls were like, ah, thirsty ass. And I was like, pinche no, te gustan puros hombres tóxicos. <laughs> <laughs> and then I left the thread. <laughs> Late. Late. I was never here. <laughs> you made an exit. <laughs> I wish. Mean, she's funny, bro. Yeah. Uh, pinche no, yeah, she's, she's funny. She's cool. I've been busting her uh, about starting the podcast, man. I've been getting on her ass I, You know bit. what? I Not that I gave up, but no. I just already told her. She keeps saying like, oh, yeah, we're getting together. <laughs> oh, we recorded this. So like, oh, yeah, I just don't know how to transfer my, like, uh, having talked to Fernie. Yeah. yeah, but you know, I just gotta make all right. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking when yeah. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, at this point, I'm like, I'm done. I'm like, look, I've already been saying. She's she's one of those people where that years in, if she doesn't do it, it's gonna be one of those like, dude, why didn't you do it? Mm-hmm. Like, why didn't you do it? She's got all kinds of material, dude. Yeah, no, she's a funny chick, bro. Not only that, but she's funny, but she's also informative. Even like, um, I told you guys, like, I got into that TikTok shit, man, because I felt like it was all over the fucking place. Dude. Everybody was like, dude, you got to get on TikTok. You got to get on TikTok. TikTok's where it's at. TikTok's where it's at. And I've historically, way, I've been fucking terrible at social media. I hate that shit, bro. Mm-hmm. But uh, recently, I'm like, Wait, if you want to do something, wait, you got to start being more active, bro. So I started being a little bit more active. So. I got on TikTok where and I, and I did um I did the song where um the weekend he did he does a song I forget the name of it. Blinding lights. 
Yeah, it's like very 80s and shit. Yeah. Yeah, it is very 80s. Man. So I'm like, this, this, this song, it's cool, but it needs some guitar. So I recorded myself playing a guitar to it, and, and I put it on TikTok, way. And like, I mean, I've been doing YouTube for a little bit, way, and the stuff that I do on YouTube, I put out uh, on uh, Instagram. And uh, this TikTok video, way, like in fucking like six, seven hours, it got like 300 views, like people commenting. So I'm like, dude, this is where it's at, bro. This is this is where it's at, dude. And I was telling Fernando that I was listening to. I don't really like Gary V, bro. He's like an acquired fucking taste, bro. But I've been I don't got that sound bite. Damn it! I've been getting <laughs> I've been getting into his uh, social media kind of uh, stance on like how he says social media should be worked, and it's making a lot of sense to me. Where he's he's basically saying like you need to have like your hub, like Instagram is where we're at, mm-hmm. but you need to leave crumbs that lead people to the center. Oh, okay. So, so go on this, go on this. Even though if you don't understand it, go on this, go on that. And even if you don't have followers, all it takes is one person to repost your TikTok or one person to repost this. And and make sure that there's a place where you can link them all back to home base, which is for us, this podcast is probably Instagram. Yeah. And so I've been kind of taking that approach, man. But fuck dude tiktok is is uh we've been talking about it so we're gonna we're gonna try to implement something on that right bro? yeah i guess i gotta get an into tiktok too i we mean dude oh, I, know. So I know right i know fuck. like fuck whoa whoa is me it's a kid shit that's what i thought i was like yeah. what the fuck? i thought it was like snapchat like i, I, I keep know. seeing like people that i follow that they like i remember them like maybe six seven months ago they're like i don't know this tiktok and i'm gonna give it a try and they start doing um, all these things And eventually You see the progression That they already Got the hang of it Yeah And you know Some of the little videos Or some of the stories Are pretty fucking fun it, it, it looks fun I mean to me It's fun as a guitar player Because it's something That I'm gonna What what I pretty much said Was like What I'm gonna do Is I'm gonna go on Like the Billboard Top 100 And then the, the rap And pop songs I'm gonna scroll Through the list And then I'm gonna Find a song That people like That needs guitar and go. that's gonna be my thing. Like this, you know what this song is cool, but you know what it needs? Some guitar. And it's guitar. And it's just me recording. Like that one, I did the solo to it, which was perfect because that song towards the end, it just has this instrumental part where where the synthesizer is a solo. So they they give you a little bit of space to put something in. But uh, I've been listening to a lot of these fucking songs, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. Like Cardi B shit. I'm like, oh god, dude, this is crazy. <laughs> like it's fucking to me, it's trash because I come from it from a. Uh, like musical. fundamentals, musical, yeah. and I'm like, what the fuck is this, right dude? Right away, trash. And to me, it is, bro. Music. And you talk to people that are like in the music business, they'll tell you the same shit. But it's what people want to hear, you know. But she fucking to me, Cardi B is like terrible, bro. Really? Yeah, I don't like her shit, bro. And it's not her. It's just is that it, music. Is it the music? There's or no is chorus. It the lyrics? There's no structure. There's no. There's oh. no anything. There's mm. no context. So. I'm going to take a song like like the one that she has. Uh, I think it's called Up. Up? Yeah, she's got the song called Up. I forget how it goes. I mean, if you guys are in, um, it goes something like. So it's got like kind of that vibe. So I, I'm thinking of redoing that song of hers into like make it more like a rock stuff. And based on that weekend song that I put up, man, I think people really like something like that. You know, it's, it, it should be fun. That's I think that's the most important yeah, part. Of it's it. having fun with it. <laughs> I, 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 but, so the tic, like uh, Instagram and the TikTok and all of this, it's a lot of work, believe it or not. It is a lot of work. It's a lot of work because um, you see some of these uh, other pages and they're putting up like, I don't know, anywhere from like five to ten freaking posts a day. And then not only that, but there's stories and then they have all these things. It's like just for me to put like stories up. On like on my on my reel or like on the what is it the highlight of the stories? Mm-hmm. Sometimes it takes me about thirty to forty minutes because uh, I'll I'll gather little memes or pictures throughout the week, and I'll save them and then I'm like yeah, once I have ten because it only lets you do ten I'll just put the ten and then uh, <laughs> yeah. only ten I know yeah. so the month's only Man, ten he puts a lot of stories this guy not not I haven't lately but when oh. I do is like you know ten ten images or ten yeah, pictures yeah and then like usually I like to put music because I'm mean, boring when like people just put something up and there's no music in the background yeah and it's just like you're just looking at it like no puedes pompear to it I know no te puedes echar una una un rapidín güey oh shit and you're just looking at it and I'm all like oh fuck it needs music or whatever mm-hmm. or like a little uh, sometimes I, I, I used to put like try to get funny with little captions uh, sometimes I just leave it alone now and just put the song and let them enjoy the picture and yeah shit. and I mean, that takes time it takes time bro like like the whole the TikTok thing since I was new to it I it, it was a little learning curve for me because 
<clears throat> you know, just being the fucking um, a little bit more of a perfectionist when it comes to things, maybe overthinking things a little bit. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, uh, people, what they do is they'll just take their phone and they'll start recording and then they'll play the music because what TikTok does is it, it provides a song behind you, like the actual song of the person. So you could just play behind it if you want. But I don't like the way the guitar sounds into the fucking um, the 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 camera, your phone. So what I do is I go through my uh, computer, my DAW, which is uh, my workstation, uh, Logic Pro, and I work through that and I sync it to the video because it sounds a lot better in my ear. And so that took a little bit of of, of, of figuring out how to do it for TikTok, what kind of uh, uh, video quality it, it takes. And um, <clears throat> but I think it, you, what what's harder on one is to figure out a structure because once you have a flow, it's not hard, bro. It's really not hard, way. Yeah. And even like people like Gary Vee talk about it. He's like, you guys probably think I'm always on social media, but no, it's just. And and he does have a team. He has a team of people that probably do all that shit for him. That he could sit here and tell us that fuck that he doesn't spend time on social media. That's because you have a fucking team, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> <No> <clears throat> shit. Um, I got a fucking nine uh, of whatever a six to five regular job and i still got to push this shit over it Mm -hmm. but the thing is that if i really want to do something with my music and i want to be out there with this podcast and everything i I just feel like why not dude i mean i'm gonna be i'm gonna be 60 hopefully one day Mm -hmm. and if i look back to my 30s what am i gonna say i should have i don't want to say that Mm because i do that for my 20s and that's why it pushes me a little bit more way but the TikTok is where it's at right now, bro. As far I mean, you guys were telling me that for the Latino, you, whoever's interested, uh, you guys interviewed somebody that's in there, right? Some yeah, pretty funny dude. Leo Gonzalez. Yeah, so you guys were just talking, which is mm. weird because I just uploaded on there and then you guys talking about it. So that tells me that it's leading us to that. Yeah. It's this. It's I already, mean, I remember what, three years ago, Fernie told us about TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Fernie I didn't even know we had one. This dude fucking yeah, opened one for us. Yeah. And even back then. <laughs> yeah, we then, got one. <laughs> back There's then, nothing there. Don't go looking. I know. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so, and I remember because we were in the alley. Um, Shit, what were you buying, bro? No, we were. At, we, we what were kind of drugs you into, bro? In the garage. No, what kind of drugs are you purchasing? Well, we were work, uh, recording. Your sexo pills or what? <laughs> 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 the extends. Hey, hey, homie, got some of those sexo pills. Oh, fuck. Okay, what are you looking <laughs> for? Eh? Esos el pinche rhino. You're looking for what? One hour, two hours, three, four? Oh, shit, <laughs> bro. Aquí tenemos. Ta cabrón, güey. Yeah, so. I remember we were uh, hanging out in the alley, and Fernie's are like, "Oh yeah, fuck," because we were talking about Vine, and Fernie's are like, "Yeah, well, they, they, there's this new thing called TikTok." And yeah, he's always in the cutting edge of shit. Fucking nobody Fernie, listens. To nobody this listens guy. to him. Nobody listens mm-hmm. to him until it's, it's, so it's fucking like already late. <laughs> yeah, and then ya pasó el tiempo. Hey, like, Fernie, we gotta get on TikTok. Uh, we already have one, bro. We need content. <laughs> oh shit! All right, fuck. Yeah, we've had one for a while, but don't don't go look it up. There's we're, nothing there. There's nothing there. It's settled. Well, Same. they can follow it because we're going to start adding shit to it. Yeah. Right? That'll yeah. force us to add it. People mm. tell us, hey, what the fuck, man? Or Dude. that'll force us to push it on there. They're going to be like, hey, bro, we added you on, on TikTok three months ago. Uh, we don't see they, anything. Unless they scrape accounts that they have nothing. <laughs> oh, no. shit. I don't think so. Hey, these about those been here for two, three years. I haven't put shit. Take yeah, them out. Yeah, we're just window shopping, bro. <laughs> we're, we're, we're studying <laughs> the algorithm, man. <laughs> eh? Hey, we're like those. Yeah, when the, cuando estaba la cuerda para brincar and yeah, you're just waiting yeah, for your time to jump yeah, in. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just timing ourselves, eh? Yeah, come on, bro. Don't fucking mm-hmm. rush us. It's just part of the strategy, bro. <laughs> Get in, get in on the late. We're, floor. We're, we're gathering intel on the algorithm, bro. What do you know about that? <laughs> we only jump in when the, when the thirty and forty somethings jump. No, in. that's that's what my point was too, Fernie. Is that <laughs> I, I'm fucking recognize? like I just started YouTube like two months ago. That shit's been around for fifteen years, whatever. Yeah. And so I, I I'm the old guy coming into YouTube when everybody's already going on TikTok. TikTok. So I'm like, well, yeah, the, the kids left Instagram. That's, what, the that's what I'm saying. So it. I don't wanna I don't wanna fucking be that dude that's a little bit late to the party. Yeah, and it's like uh, I. I, for me, back in the days, it was MySpace, dude. And, all like, and then Facebook started. I'm like, fuck this Facebook thing. It's hard. I like MySpace. And then next thing you know, MySpace is like, oh, it sucks. Hey, you know that what's funny? MySpace, well, I was thinking about MySpace the other day because I was watching this little documentary of how people's life affects uh, gets affected in a negative way when they win the lotto. Uh-huh. And there was this dude that won like $1,000 a day for life. So he's living his best life, dude. Fucking older guy. $1,000 a day? For life. So 30 grand a month, yeah. Or 30 something, yeah. And um, it's, not, that's, well, uh, it's pretty good, bro. Yeah, I mean, so <clears throat> he's fucking hanging out with all these these fucking women. Like his house, bro, you, you pull up to his fucking pad, bro. And this is what reminded me of MySpace, bro. Uh, everybody has a parking space with their name on it. 
So it's like these are my friends. They get a parking space. So I was thinking, like, imagine like when face when MySpace was like my top friends. So if you were a baller, <laughs> if you were a baller, each one of your friends has a parking spot in your fucking front house. You know, yeah. like wow, that's yeah. pretty fucking ballsy, right? But yeah, and MySpace used to have your top ten friends, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, why then, am I on the top? Why am I on? The yeah, top? why am I number two? Hey, why am I number five? Who the fuck is this guy? I don't even know him. Oh, fuck, hey, did he go pick you up and shit the other day? Yeah, huh? and we were all fucking. We thought we were fucking the shit when we were pimping my. MySpace, remember that? Yeah, <laughs> hey, fucking pimp the page. But, but pimp for, my MySpace. <laughs> but for, even when we started here, remember, hey, uh, so who's going to handle the Instagram way? And Ramon was like, fuck that, dude. I only do oh, fucking Facebook. I, I only do Facebook. <laughs> fuck <laughs> Instagram. Yeah, what are you can't I, take them off Instagram. No, the post that got him was I sent them a yeah. pizza post, remember? The pizza post, yeah. Like, like, try it or die it. What the fuck? The Instagram page, try it or die it. I'm, I'm sure they're still around. I saw a pizza. I'm trying to get, bring this guy into Instagram. So I sent them, hey, wait, look, bro. They got some good food re- re- recommendations. <laughs> Next thing you know, I had two fucking requests. So I left him out. He can also get like this fucking the guy. Fucking yeah. guy. But, it, but it was all about fuck Instagram, remember? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. space. Hey, I, never did, I never did it's, Snapchat. But it's a, it's a fucking, it's, it's a Ramon Familia thing, dude, because his sister's the same way. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. She just started. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was she like, just, who the fuck is this? Who's, <laughs> a, who's this Italian trying to follow me? <laughs> it's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, Instagram is fun, bro. I lo- I love Instagram, man. I mean, as far as like the community that we it got, is. we got some pretty cool listeners, man. Like these these dudes are always and and women too. They're always on uh, comedy and they're always really fucking uh, encouraging, man. Like it helps, dude. It does fucking help to to not not even to feed the ego, man. Just to know that. Okay, somebody likes this. Like, okay, there's something there. At least this person fucking maybe their day was a little better because of the stupid shit that we say. And and they're pretty faithful, dude. Like, dude, the fucking people that listen to this are. I appreciate how faithful they are, man. Because they'll follow you wherever, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I get I get dudes on YouTube and like even TikTok from the podcast. I don't even know what the fuck. So, dude. so statistically, how many how many toxicals or toxic? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> nah, I'm not here to judge, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take them all. <laughs> it's all perspective, bro. Yeah, yeah. not for sure. Because they're not toxicos or toxicos to everybody. So, no. No, no, no. I mean, I've just, noticed just that saying, uh, statistically, from... we must have some. <laughs> yeah, of course, man. <laughs> well, statistically, we're one of them, man. Well, yeah. do we have one right here? Are <laughs> oh, you the toxico of the bunch, bro? What? Oh, oh yeah, I, mean, I like that. Yeah. I'm not the toxic. I like toxico. that. He's the toxico of the bunch right here. I'm not. Gotcha, the... bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Should the toxico, eh? <laughs> What's up, bro? You gotta get on TikTok, bro. Uh, yeah, I guess because now that we were talking prior to the podcast of the plans and the ideas <laughs> that you came up with, I'm like, it's not a bad plan, you know. Let, let, let me let me start getting familiarized with it. Mm. And uh, fuck it, I guess I'm gonna be one of those influencers in the wild doing pin the kind of dances while people record me doing yeah, that but, shit. But the shuffle way, not on your own way. He's oh, already yeah. planning his own mess. No. <laughs> he's already planning his no, own. Yeah, you saw no, him? He's, you saw he's gonna exit, bro. <laughs> he's, no, because if I do it on the shuffle, Instagram, you're like, what are, you, what are you fucking doing, Ramon? You see? Yeah, yeah, tiene plans for his yeah. own. Because it's not even. <laughs> the same thing happened with Instagram. Like, hey, do that on your own shit. I'm like, all mm, right. Well, no, I mean, maybe we should change that way. Do it on the fucking on the platform. I think when people people want is they want to see more of us where so i mean if if every once in a while we all like there's sometimes that i feel bad even though if it's the podcast that i'm in like i don't know if i should promote my band in this like i feel i mean and and we promote other people but even me i'm I'm still like kind of humble with it where i'm like "Mm, i don't know if i want to put post a link i know i even asked you guys the other day like hey man is it cool if i put a story of like the the music because I still have a little bit of insecurities with that shit, bro. Hey, I know, página. but I, I feel like I still have that feeling. Like, why I'm gonna probably like, feel like, like maybe I'm from, taking advantage maybe of, the, from, of the audience. Where maybe from your page it helps out us, or maybe from our page it helps out you. Maybe from you know, así nos ayudamos todos, you know. Yeah, but the el pinche toxic over here. Fucking, oh my god, he says we don't let him post shit because because remember, like once or twice he wanted to post him like yeah, something dude. not que ver, wait, and and that he took as don't ever post well dick this this <laughs> is the same post. guy that posted like 30 fucking halloween memes in october it wasn't 30 it was like two, yeah. two, 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 two fucking 12. years ago it was a 12 days of, like <laughs> yeah. the last Jesus 12 Christ, days bro. or something yeah. like it was that. like a wall of halloween like, posts Jesus, like what are you doing bro? yeah so when we told them when we told them dick don't do that nah, it's all of a sudden everything he, well fuck you guys yeah, i ain't doing shit he, yeah he understood it as don't post anything i don't know bro <laughs> I can't do shit. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> no me dejan de hacer nada, cabrones. Mm. <laughs> I don't Did know. You man. expect me to believe you? <laughs> <laughs> but 
I do, I do feel like maybe people want um one more of the and, and you know what that's what that's the other thing that I was reading up on like the whole YouTube thing that anyway, is that we focus on creating uh, stuff that's creative when when people are more interested on in the, in the process they're more interested in if if you create a video on like what you're having trouble with like okay guys I'm trying to do this this guitar video and this is how I'm gonna do it like there'll be more into a video like that than a view just fucking be like okay this is a song it feels like um like people want People like the behind the scenes shit, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I think a lot more sometimes. There's the, more intimacy in it. Yeah, there's well, be- more intimacy because they're like they see the the process of it, yeah. and they feel like they're part of it. Yeah. It's like the podcast. A lot of people are not here with us, but when they're listening to us, they feel like they're with us. Yeah, I mean, I get people tell me like, "Hey, bro, I, I, I know I haven't met you, but I think I feel like I know you." Yeah. I mean, but we've been pretty mm-hmm. transparent. And so, so from now on, shall, shall we do like a? So, what, what do you think, bro? And leave some silence. <laughs> so they could like so talk, about talk on, on their car <laughs> talk or on their, yeah, on their fucking at work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tu fulano or fulana, hey, what do you think about yeah. it? Hey, tu, wait, stop listening to this shit and get to work, bro. I know you're fucking. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, they got the two cents in right now. <laughs> hey, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, fucking listening to this. Yes, no se hagan tarugos. Yes, you, yeah, don't look around. We're talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching you. Yeah, I wait, toxico. Fuck, bro. That's some toxico talk right there. Wait. Yeah, you are the toxico, the group, bro. <laughs> hey, enough about me. Let's talk about the, 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 the listener. The guy right listening there. to this right now, or yeah, the girl? The girl, yeah. Yeah, yeah tú. <laughs> hey, you with the insecurities right there. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> nah, we all have that insecurities, bro. That's not being a dick. We all have insecurities. Being <laughs> a dick is calling somebody out and saying you don't have them. That's no. being a dick. To- oh, yeah. Toxico is like this guy. We're watching you. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> You're pretty creepy sometimes, bro. <laughs> Just start revelando today, you get pretty creepy. And then what are you scratching over there, where You keep scratching your fucking... Oh, this. I don't know. What the fuck? It's a tick. Yeah. I got a tick. Yeah. Like, yeah, you I, always I, practice some, your rubbing skills. Someone caught him on the video. Remember on yeah. the live, no? Yeah. Yeah, when I was like... Uh, it, Finessing Ayala his... Uh, that could have been a meme, bro. You could easily fucking Photoshop something <laughs> Else, right there, <laughs> like, hey, a little, a little pro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, show, us, show us how you practice oh, right shit. there. Hey, yeah, you guys are missing this. <laughs> I know it's getting... actually being played in slow motion in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got this little take, like, uh, especially with this chair. Mm-hmm. And I mentioned it, like, when remember when these got uh, they got reupholstered, then they had like a little um staple coming out. Mm-hmm. And I even pointed out to the landlord, I'm like, hey, wait, there's a staple right here, se va a romper esta madre. I don't want to get blamed for it later. And it was there for the longest. And I, every time I was there, here, I'm like, I would feel it. And I'm like, okay, maybe see if I could break it off without damaging this I thing. Wait, break it off, wait. You know? And y eso me quedo eso, wait. I just twirl it around on the on the, on the the armrest. No. I just twirl my finger around. No, it. I have little ticks, too. That's why I keep my guitar on work, because I'm always noodling around and shit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's one of those. That's why I'm all like, yeah. It's all, I'm all, I don't know why. It's like, it's, it's always happened. <laughs> Sure. We Getting go romantic. <laughs> oh, 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 mon <laughs> you are the beat to my heart. It's very racist, bro. No, that's no. not racist. That's racist, bro. You're fucking. <laughs> it's <too> toxic. <laughs> that's pretty racist, bro. <laughs> you're, you're, you're emulating a, an accent, bro. All right. Yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if you said that way, yeah. Well, I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna get technical, uh, if you're with trying it. to be a dick about it. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? Dude? Shit. I like that fucking machine, bro. It's just fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, remember we're like, oh, we're gonna get tired of it. Nope. Mm. Yeah, you guys were like, maybe we shouldn't use it so much. No, it wasn't us. It was uh, somebody. No, that was all no, you. I, I said it. You said <laughs> it. I said it. Yeah. Uh, I don't Let's remember see. saying that. I, I, I said he was going to peak in the first episode. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> and Fernie's like, dude, I got all kinds uh, of sound bites. I got this food. And he looks forward to that. Oh, show. yeah. <laughs> I think uh, we should definitely record Fernie saying something so that it's there. But uh-huh. I think uh, El Westside Dave, yes, incluyó. He's all like, hey, I'm going to record this sound and send it to you, Fernie. I'm like, What's he going to say? Uh, he's got a couple of little things. <laughs> Westside Dave, we need yeah. to podcast too, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll be an interesting one with Dave. Yeah, yeah. you know that'll be an interesting one. Is she? I mean, I, I would definitely listen to it. Yeah, I listen to it. I mean, he's getting into coffee like crazy, huh? Fuck yeah, dude! It's he's, a whole little fucking niche, like a little fucking uh, society, bro. The yeah. Coffee fiend. I feel like a lot of people are really into it, man. I think um, this past year, this whole fucking pandemic season, a lot of people got into a lot of stuff. I mean, look at our listener, Ramon. 
mm-hmm. you know, because of the pandemic, he started doing the 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 low riders and doing his own sir, like you know, his own little designs to to you know to perfect the the little car models. That's one of them. We got people that fucking that, that picked up gardening. You got people that picked up baking, mm-hmm. cooking, wor- um, you know, just working at home, doing home improvement. Fucking transas too, bro. Like <laughs> I, I was, um, <laughs> I was, I was, I was talking to this lady last week. That's uh, she's a realtor, and I was just kind of asking her questions about shit, and she was telling me that she's like, dude. Don't buy a house right now. Like, wait a year or two. Not that I'm trying to buy one, but I'm trying to see, like, yeah, where I can market. invest. Yeah. She's like, dude, wait two years. I'm like, why? What's going on? And she's like, we're back at 07, bro. And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, well, what's going on right now in the housing market, way is that um, people got fucking smart, way. The people that didn't pay rent for months that could have paid rent, they put that money aside. And uh, they were also getting unemployment. They stack their chips. They're coming in with a high down payment, buying houses that they can't afford. And the realtors are actually signing the shit again, making them f- seem like they could afford it. So she says, dude, it's going to it's gonna crash. Give it like a couple years. Oh, shit. So People she, are going to start losing your houses, you mean, yeah. She, she says that mm. that's, that's what's going on right now. With people that were stacking their chips 2020, they're starting to buy homes. Then they can't afford these homes. Shit. So, I don't know what's going to happen, man. I, I mean, I try to stay optimistic about shit, you know, but there's definitely a lot of things that... No, there, there's more to that, too, wait, because they, they've been calling a, the, the bubble on that for, for a little bit now. Like, well, I mean, since the pandemic shit, wait. So, I mean, there's there's more to that, and there's a lot of truth in that. Yeah. that they're, they're, they're calling the 2007 again, where this is going to crash. Well, the housing, at least. Yeah, and that's why it's... That's why maybe I think also like the crypto way with Bitcoin and all that shit, that's why it's getting a lot more attention because people are, I mean, the dollars also, it's all the fucking, the scams that the government, the Ponzi schemes that they're running with the Federal Reserve way. I mean, all that shit starting oh, to, shit? people are starting to be like, hey, bro, like this isn't cool, man. That's why crypto is like enticing to a lot of people, man, because the dollars also expected to just fucking collapse, dude. And I'm not talking about like as far as like inflation. I'm um, just talking about as far as like the value of it because there's it's a fiat currency, right, bro? Like fiat is it's not backed by anything, but it's backed by dudes with guns. It's backed by a government, but there's no gold attached to it because Nixon took it out of the gold standard. Was it Nixon or was it Roosevelt? Nixon in the early 70s. No, I'm pretty sure it was Nixon, yeah. So when that happened, then they let it gave access to the U.S. to just print out money and, and getting a loan from the Federal Reserve. And then to pay that plus interest, they get more money printed for them and... I mean, we were borrowing it from from somewhere, but I mean, I don't think any who's I don't know any big countries that have it backed up anymore. I don't think anybody has backed up anymore. No, to gold. Yeah, gold. No, they followed suit where. That, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. I mean, they're then I mean they're not just like they they print it, but they they borrow it. With. So it's like they go and borrow it, but you're borrowing it from another currency, like you're saying that's not backed by anything besides. So if that government collapses, pues, or and then they borrow from someone else or something, it's a yeah. whole yeah. Almost, almost pyramid style, como dices, way like it's, yeah. so. So it just feels like movidas. it just feels like everything's. It's kind of. I mean, I, I don't know if it's gonna collapse though, pero. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who knows, way? But uh, it's definitely it's what possible. people are predicting that the dollar, and then if you if you add that to the housing, um, if it crashes, and I mean, I'm not telling what's gonna do to the economy, way. But I mean, it's all speculation, way. I just I just feel like it's definitely important to plan for the future way was the 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 bitcoin shit ya que está like at these fucking crazy levels where yeah the the big banks are now i mean every every few years these think all the big banks are looking into it but i think now they're really like looking into it, getting serious with no well no it's just i'm so sorry i, I got stuck with the whole gold thing i'm like me, me pendeje. Wait, you're Googling it? Yeah, right I was Googling it. You don't believe us? No, no, no. bitch. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. It was Nixon. I, I, I understood it because uh, a yeah, while I mean, back, it doesn't matter what president it was. What it yeah. Was, I mean, what yeah, because what I thought it was uh, Roosevelt that, that cut the gold standard, uh, like, I guess, collected all the gold from people. Yeah, but you got stuck on the, the yeah, wrong point. I got, <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm all like, ahorita I'm all lost because I'm all like, wait a minute. <laughs> like the, what, if it was fucking Clinton, it'd be the same thing. Like, the, argue, like, what the point yeah. he's making doesn't fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot bad. where we were at. Where My bad. We're talking about Bitcoin and the dollar. Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying that. You know what though, bro? As, as far as like that Bitcoin community goes, way it's it's not that. Um, personally, what I've been noticing that it's not that they're getting into it. It's that they're being vocal about it now, because a lot of people like 
like uh, that dude from Shark Tank, uh, the, the the pelon, the the douchey one. The, I think they call him Mister Wonderful or some shit. Oh, the uh, fucking pelon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, when when Bitcoin was uh, like at three grand, he was talking all this shit like fuck this coin, yeah. like it's uh, bullshit, yeah. bullshit coin. And now the coins like at uh, he came in like when it was like fifty grand. All of a sudden he invested a shit ton of money in it. All of a sudden it's fucking. Uh, he's trying to invest in the mining of it. Yeah. And so they called him out like, "Hey, dude, what are you talking?" Oh no, it's just so he, <laughs> it he's talking it. shit about the coin yeah. because he already was invested in it, but he's not publicly announcing that he was invested. So he was trying to talk shit about the the, the Bitcoin to to try to have the currency develop a little bit more so he can buy into the dip. So. What's happened is not it's not necessarily a way that all banks are barely getting into it. It's just now they're now they're putting More it vocal. out there that yeah, we've we've been in there no, for a well, while. I, I think what they do way like I I don't I think what they, they keep doing is they keep like um como se dice? like like testing the waterway. Cause ever like I'm saying, every every like two years or so, selling all the articles again that the big banks are looking into fucking to crypto way. It's like they're testing the waters of it. When it's when it's good to jump in, pues like to see what the public reaction is. Yeah. But even even like like Bitcoin way, there's nothing back in a Bitcoin way. So if if we're a f fiat currency, then that's the same thing. It's all intrinsic value way. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, but there's nothing backing up gold, and so it's just uh, you're, that's you're, what that's what I'm saying. Everything yeah, is intrinsic yeah, value. No, so. that's what I'm saying. So Bitcoin's not it's not necessarily going to replace. It's not the replacement of the dollar. It's the replacement of gold being a, a digital asset. So it's not. It's not that they're like, I'm going to send you a Bitcoin and fucking buy some shirts. Bitcoin is more like, that's where I want to keep my money. And and everything is what you're saying. Where the dollar's worth a dollar because we agree that a that's dollar bill worth, is worth yeah. a dollar. That's, that's the that's only thing. That's why Bitcoin is so expensive because people are agreeing that that's how much it's worth. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, you, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't back up like the dollar with Bitcoin or even like gold. I mean, gold is the... The only thing they, they go back to gold is because gold goes back so much through history, pues, que we've put... Value on it, pues, you know? yeah. I mean, it started with shells and yeah. then it, <laughs> but, feathers, yeah. those Indians, yeah, feathers. yeah, for sure. But, but the, the other thing but I was gold has been for a long ass time. The other thing I was reading up on this on this book was how the U.S. is 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 accused way, obviously, right? But there's there's little things that have come out of the U.S. actually and the countries they're they're they've been accused of, of suppressing the value of gold way, keeping it at a lower value uh -huh. so, so the dollar won't look like, like it's not needed. Yeah, like a crap. So so there's been there's been times when the government, not just the U.S. government, the whole fucking world, because everybody yeah. works together, they suppress the price of gold way. Just that's that's uh, I mean. You talk about fucking the U.S. being shady as fuck. The U.S. is fucking shady for a lot of things, bro. It's not just the way they so, treat. So who mines the gold now? Like, I mean, is it is it the the, the country that mines it or like? Dude, or? dude, try if you have money in gold, try to get your gold away. It's so hard to sell the gold. It's so hard for you to. They make it really hard for you because. I mean, personally, I'm not. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a fucking yeah. uh, a lawyer. I'm not anybody that knows finance. But to me personally, it doesn't look right. It looks kind of shady that they make it so hard for you to take it because you you don't even know if it's really there. Where you're like putting money into something, like it's not like they send you a gold. I mean, they do oh, have the gold, gold bars. It's a commodity, yeah. yeah. But it's but not like they send you something that's tangible. It's it's just like a like what you, what they're doing is they're basically just telling you like, yeah, you own this much. Okay, so. They make it so hard for you to like. Can you, I keep you, it? You're I buying wanna... fucking a, a plot of land on the moon, way. <laughs> like, what, what are you really investing in, bro? And well, that... I mean that, but that's I guess now now that's everything, way. That's pretty much everything, way. Like you buy something, like and we're talking like currency, like Bitcoin, like you don't have anything, way. It's just it a, doesn't. It's just an, nothing, a, an, a, uh, it's a number on a fucking machine, you know. Yeah. Same thing. So the fucking gold might as well. I mean, in my eyes, I guess is the same thing because, yeah, you're just buying literally. Number a da, rock. Da, da, da. You're just buying a yellow rock. Well, like they give you, they give you fucking, you know, it's a it identified place. It's a number. I mean, yeah. everything's a number in a database. Yeah. Way. The gold might might be somewhere, might not. Way who the fuck knows? Way. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So that that that's like everything now. Just like we go back to the dollar way. Like there's nothing behind it. It's just a fucking number way. But we use a little piece of paper to represent it. But all that paper. I think what entices a lot of people is, is could be worthless. Way. I think what entices a lot of people is that you you can. If if you have money invested in gold and some shit goes down, I mean, good luck getting your gold. They, some people see 
crypto as more of oh, like oh shit like i can just take my external wallet and i have my my asset uh-huh. yeah but that's why it's enticing but, to but think about it like, like along the lines that you're saying right now yeah it's like because like with gold everybody you assume like we're talking about before gold back goes back so far and yeah. everybody is agreed gold has a value mm-hmm. but in the way you're talking about if i buy gold commodity way mm-hmm. like you're saying like where's my gold yeah if shit hits the fan like where's ramon always says yeah, where's yeah. you going Shit's you don't have that fan. gold. You have a piece of paper that says I own this gold. That's exactly. But it, I'm man. saying then that falls on Bitcoin too. So if you're putting your money in Bitcoin for, for if shit hits the fan, what if hit shit's the fan with the fucking Bitcoin? All you have is a wallet on your phone. What if your phone doesn't work anymore? Yeah. Then you don't have fucking Bitcoin. Yeah. And same thing. You don't have that gold. Yeah, but you have it. I mean, there's you there's don't have a, any of that It's shit. obviously you you can't really tell it, but you 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 don't really have it on your actual phone, like. I have it on an external wallet that, yeah, I could not have internet here and I can have, but I could take that, that USB into a different country and access. But my, oh, that's what I'm saying. If, if shit hits the fan, pues, por decir, in, in some manner, pues, some crazy, one well, of no, like this apocalypse type shit where the, where there's the no internet yeah. near us way. Like yeah. not, I'm saying your phone went down cause yeah. the network went down with yeah. So how far do I have to go before I find a network? And will, is the other network up way? Yeah. And wherever whatever server my Bitcoin was on, is that on? Yeah, I'm saying it's like the gold no existe. Yeah, yeah. So at that point, what do we defer to? Like the dollar because we have that in our hand. Um, well, and you're not gonna be able to use it. So at that point, we go back to have. like a seed or a, or, a, or a commodity like yeah, that, or like, like bar- a, bartering. No, yeah, but I'm saying like the, the go, dollar still. You can yeah. start bartering. Hey, tengo. I got inner tools for bikes, cabrón. You yeah. got a fucking can of beans. Hola, ¿qué tal? No, pero me, me entiendes. Maybe like, you, you you go back. Hey, what, you're, what, you're, what you're talking about is like I get it. A but catastrophe. That, that's like, like he, yeah. super extreme. Nah, yeah, yeah, I'm just. But if we're there, if we're where you're there, then yeah, I think you would agree. Like, hey, bro. Oh, yeah. Let's give this dollar a value, bro. Because like I <laughs> yeah. have it, you need it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm saying because I got some feathers. Because even even if we start, because even if you start at the bartering, because <laughs> it's gonna start at the bartering, bartering like we're talking about. No, Oh shit, we're all confused. I'm torta cubana, güey. Una agua de Jamaica, no. Aquí así es el agua. Se ve un poco como que el hielo ya se le. Está más o menos. Es que está muy caloroso ahora. Le, 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 le cambias tus frijoles por esas chatas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's going to start at bartering, but I mean, we all know at some point it's going to end up back to a currency. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. The dollar, I guess, or your Canadian dollar, or your euro, or whatever, since it's already a physical thing that we just put value on, I think we kind of fall back on Maybe that. Maybe we way. should start buying gold, like, you know, fucking jewelry or something and melt it down and just start making your own little bricks. Fuck, bro. I mean, you do what you think needs to be done with, but because I personally, me, I would not put any money in gold. But that's just me, way. But I'm saying you're just talking about the commodity. He's talking about like actually buying gold. Yeah, like you like know. you know, yeah, ves vas a lugares like sometimes you can buy a gold. You coin. can buy the gold, the gold little bricks. The yeah, little, the gold yeah. little bricks, and just have them a couple of stash and shit yeah. because you know you could even chip them off. Like, hey, wait, it's just, like, you, you just gotta figure out how to melt it. If it's a thirty gram bar, how are you gonna melt it to buy some chips? I, I, I'm gonna tell you what you need to do. Way <laughs> you gotta torch it, it? For, for no for this crazy scenario that we're talking. I mean, yeah, you, you're, you're. No, I, yeah, I, I'm yeah. already when I'm already dressed like in Mad Max. When, yeah. Where, yeah. where you're at, Thunderdome bro. status. All right, all right, all Thunderdome Dome. status, and I say Thunderdome for a reason. Stock, start stockpiling the water wing. Yeah, yeah. yeah water. You know what's gonna be worth money? Water wing. Yeah. Water. They're gonna be like, hey, wait, fucking tengo frijol. Why well, got water? There's food. a diff- there's a reason why like there's seeds banks in like Antarctica and all these different places, man. They're holding in case some shit goes down, way. Eh? And that's why Monsanto and these fucking companies where they're they're trying to they patent these seeds, the where seeds, yeah. yeah, because they they see the value in that. But it's just interesting, bro. Like. Because, you know, sometimes we don't focus on certain things, man, but there's there's conversations being had right now amongst people that are trying to figure out what currency is going to be used in space way. Because they're already talking oh, about shit. like space tourism. Like if the Russians build a fucking hotel and the U.S. builds another, like what jurisdiction is that? What laws are going to be followed? What currency is going to be used? What like these conversations are really already happening right now at this point way. How much? Uh, well, how long does it take to travel from from Earth to space? To space, just mean yeah. just to get to space. Yeah, it takes fucking what, less like, than an hour. No, it takes like, what thirty minutes? minutes or something. Forty five minutes, and that's going 30, super super. Not fucking even less. We fucking let's call up an ingeniero. 
Oh, yeah. Hey, don't no. tell the ingeniero. He might I, know this. I think maybe fucking those 20 minutes or something. That's a, I don't know. I no keep sabe. dropping the number, pero. That's above my pay grade, bro. But I mean, just to get, you're talking about just to get a space I mean, way, just I mean, to get you, into the Are you talking orbit. about like landing in the fucking moon or what are you talking no, about? No, 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 just to hit space. He's talking about just oh, hit, yeah, hit orbit, pues. A couple long, right? minutes, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, not a couple minutes. Yeah, it doesn't take that long. And you seen the rocket way it goes up? And then it disappears, it goes up another three minutes. Because I know the International Space Station, it's just right above our orbit, right? Well, it's an orbit. It goes an orbit, yeah. So you're saying, is that considered space? Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm space. sure it is. Weird. And I'm sure if they're going to have the hotels, it might have going to be in orbit. In yeah. orbit. So how's that going to work? If it's like over the, the longitude latitude of Russia, is that considered Russian property? Like, how is this going to yeah. work? Oh, well, I mean, you rotate anyway. I mean, but I'm saying that the... The currency, yeah, the currency stuck out. Yeah, you're rotating. You're right. I mean, I, I don't know. It just really, it's a, it's a very interesting conversation. I, right? I they're think already I, having. Yeah, they're, they're already Would talking. Would you go to space? Yeah. I was talking to Ramon, way our, our oh, homie. Oh shit! Uh, no, our other homie, no. or, or, or the, the interesting one that works for NASA, bro. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I could say I have a friend that works at NASA, oh, yeah, bro. We, what do you yeah, got? We could definitely. Where your that. homie works at? My homie works at NASA too. Oh shit! Yeah, he's your friend too. Yeah. Um, and he's like, "Fuck that! I'm. I won't be the first one." Like, yeah, I guess I would wait a little bit. I mean, but uh, make it realistically. You're what? You're going to almost be 40. I'm already in my mid 40s. Yeah. In about what? 20 years? Get busy living. <laughs> or get busy dying. That, that, that they're going to go up there? <laughs> yeah, where like the hotels are done and they're going to have yeah. travel destinations. I mean, I don't think it's as easy as. I mean, they're already having the conversations uh, about what kind of currency is going to be used and all this shit. But I don't think it's as easy as like maybe they're project they're being a little bit bullish on the on the time frame because I think it's gonna be a lot more than that. Yeah, we, right. I mean, we should have had flying cars already. And we still don't fucking have <laughs> the flying cars. Right, but we do have self driving cars though. And we don't. I don't trust that shit. I wait till <laughs> three, four, five gens, dude. The, the, they've had they've had it in Vegas for a while. The little the self driving minivan wing. Yeah, you can take it from casino to casino and shit. Yeah. It's interesting. I mean, I, I'm really fascinated with the whole dollar way. Like, I'm starting to really fucking see, okay, this is what a dollar means. Like, I understand now. I understand why I fucking I've been poor my whole life. I'm not saying <laughs> I'm rich right now, but I'm starting to understand. Like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, all right, I see. I see what's going I got on. You, homie. <laughs> and, um, and, <laughs> And I mean, uh, it's just it's just gonna be one of those things where where you're either gonna uh, you're gonna be using it before you. We already use a form of crypto, where like digital money. We send money through Venmo all the time. Yeah. Well, like we're saying, way like all yeah. the money is just intrinsic. Cash way. app, Zell. Yeah, exactly. I don't, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know what the the yeah, pinchy Bitcoin también is supposed to. I was reading a thing. Uh, what is it? A few years away. It's supposed to fucking not die out, but it's gonna reach a point where it's gonna be almost impossible to get that that last like. Like a half a percent or percent that, that block created. Yeah, the last few way, like the last few, I start so cabron way que it's gonna reach like ninety, like ninety eight point eight or something. The last little few when I start culés. I, I think, and it, at that point, I mean, there's there's no more Bitcoin, but you can't produce it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, if I'm correct, way there's about eighteen million in circulation, and there's a, a twenty one million cap of existing Bitcoin, and that's gonna take another. I think like 110 years. For no, it. it's not yeah. that long. It is way. No, because the because every four years that the market drops, yeah, they they they, they give out more. There is a um, there is a fucking cómo se llama la. It's the, no. you're like it's at like 18, como dices, mm -hmm. or 17, or no sé por ahí. It's 18 you're million. Never, but there is like a 1.9 unaccounted for way that someone has. No one knows who has it. No, yeah. Well, well Satoshi, yeah. Satoshi has a wallet that's still. Yeah, but no one knows for sure. But look at the, yeah, but it's, it for. hasn't been moved. People people watch that wallet to see yeah. if if Satoshi transfers. But I'm saying that's in addition to the one you're talking about. No, that's that's already. Um, I mean, it's it's in another hundred or so years where that it's going to be maxed out where there's not going to be any more created. It's going to take about 100 years. Well, yeah, but I'm saying the the the. Okay, so the last like percent or two is what's gonna take all those years. Yeah. In a few years, we're gonna reach that point where where it's gonna take. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. long to get that's what I'm saying, but it, yeah. it that's the last cachito, pues. The last yeah. like a, like the last thousand, pues. Yeah, but to be completely maxed out, where everything's in, in like there's no more being produced, you can't mine it. At that point, they're saying that you won't get a you won't get a Bitcoin for, for uh, you're not gonna be able to mine it because it's not gonna exist. So what's gonna happen is they're saying that you're gonna be making money on on like the fees that are gonna be associated. That's how the the miners oh, make the, oh, the quote sure. unquote miners. Um, that's how they're gonna make uh, their money processing um, 
the, these transactions on the blockchain way is they're gonna just on the fees on the fees yeah not so much the their, their payment in bitcoin i don't know in 100 years when fuck yeah it's gonna be but I, i'm really fascinated with that whole shit way because i mean think about it bro if they're self-driving taxis i mean you're gonna have to yeah we already use Vemo and and all that shit bro so it's gonna be interesting how like uh like a, a society where it's like really like there's no there's no paper currency like exchange we're way. getting there way yeah we're, we're I, I there. just feel bad for the paisitas way that that's how in the streets i mean well i mean i think i mean they're obviously gonna adjust way but it's gonna be a little bit of adjusting period for them to they're already used to it though bro because there's a lot of companies in mexico that that already kind of use a form of cryptocurrency that that people send money to their relatives out in Mexico yeah, yeah, yeah. and Central America like that, like that. Yeah. so they're already kind of used to the whole but i mean también there, there's a lot of um paisitas pues that they don't have a bank account way cuz they don't like places you can they can in california you, you can get the the pais id way though yeah. it's not like a like a ballot id outside of california or whatever but i'm saying there's a lot of states where you can't get an id so you can't get a fucking bank account type of shit yeah or you got to jump through a lot of hoops or do transas to get a bank account that, that's so there's a lot of paisitas that, that stuff it in the matches por decir no that's also one of the, that's also one of the things that that the crypto industry is trying to promote is that they're trying to get rid of quote unquote banks but i don't know how they're going to do that with without you know, you need you need some kind of like um, decentralized bank. You need you, need, you yeah. need some shit, bro. I mean, I, I get the decentralized having everything be yeah. fucking, but I mean, you need you need some kind of order, bro. And so that's the other thing that they're trying to tell people. There's a lot of people, dude. There, I was reading some shit on these people, like in Nigeria or some shit. That there's no their currency is worth mm-hmm. shit, bro. You know what their currency is? Minutes on their phone. I mean, that's on their phone. <laughs> yeah, like calling cards and shit. Like that's their currency. Like a prison where, like, once you start getting into these these fucking uh, situations where you're trying to fucking survive, you're gonna sell cigarettes to fucking as currency to protect your life. There's people right now outside of jail in other countries that are selling minutes. As far as like that's the currency. Wow. So you sell minutes, bro. So what the crypto uh, industry is 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 there the one of their goals that they're trying to do is they're trying to bank the the people that don't have banks because there's billions of people in this world yeah. that don't have banks bro that's what i'm saying wait till but i guess it's possible way but yeah you have to crypto is probably the best way because like banks because yeah you i mean you want to do all the other stuff like uh, if you have a venmo you need to touch a bank mm-hmm. if you wanted to fucking use any of those services you need a bank way the crypto you don't really need a bank way you just need the little wallet way well they're they're already creating a private blockchains for banks because that's also been one of the things where like banks aren't really cool with crypto because they don't want their shit like how, why did this bank transfer 500 million to this bank yeah. like if it's in the public ledger which is a blockchain anybody yeah. can see those transactions so now they're creating a private blockchain for the bank so their information isn't like public yeah and so that's when they're more like oh okay yeah we could we could get on but that. isn't that shady or i mean no because that's your own block it's like having your own little coin you can <sighs> Like if you set up your own, but I get what he's saying. Yeah, like no, what are you yeah. trying to hide? Yeah, what are you hiding or what are these big but, okay, transactions so, covering? Yeah, no, but I'm saying okay. So por decir, how f- how long before the cartels look, start? Look at it. If you that. have your money in the bank and you're sending money here and there, yeah, then that's all public. Do you want all that public? I mean. I mean, it's something that, well... I, I mean, yeah, I get pissed when that fucking Venmo says what I put it for. That's what yeah. I'm saying. So <laughs> like, ima- dude, imagine that... I don't that, want people knowing that I gave you money for Imagine that for all your, banks, all <laughs> yeah. your bank transactions. Nah, he's right, bro. It's yeah. like, you don't want that. Intense is, so you're looking at it from bank to bank. Yeah, there's going to be shitty shit. Just like the fucking narcos now use Bitcoin for shit too, no? They do use it, right? Yeah, but I'm saying... So like your shit would be out there like on a public thing, way. Right? I mean... Yeah, yeah. You're so. Do you want all your transactions? I mean, in the that's that's where that's a good point, because that's what I was saying a few months ago. That good luck fucking cheating on your taxes if everything's uh, on, on the a, blockchain. On the ledger, yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. how come you got three hundred on unemployment and it says here that you spend fucking uh, two hundred on uh, Happy Four Twenty dispensary? <laughs> like, wait, why'd you spend the money we sent? I mean, it's gonna be. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be more it, transparent. It's gonna be super transparent. That's what I'm saying. So the yeah. private one, but there's always gonna, up, there's gonna be always someone <laughs> fucking dealing with the transa. They're, they're well, gonna, there's always gonna be yeah. transas, bro. Well, I mean, that, I mean, but see, there's still transas. Like we said, the narcos fucking use it for shit too, mm-hmm. and you don't know what the fucking they're spending it on. Everything's not as transparent as you think. No, it's not. But I, but I'm saying once you put yourself in the picture way of like the customer of the bank, you know, you don't maybe you don't want all that. Yeah, you don't want all that shit, bro. 
But I mean, at the end of the day, bro, I mean, uh, maybe it's because it's not really used everywhere, but still the, the currency that's used more for shady shit is the U.S. dollar. I mean, even though Bitcoin is considered yeah. like the Silk Road and all this shit, everything needs to start, bro. Like I, I was reading like the initials of like a VHS was a porn industry. Like when the VHS. Well, well the VHS and the DVD. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Everything. You think about Vegas. How was Vegas started? Yeah, you think about Miami. How was Miami built? Oh, fucking Coke money. Vegas, the mob. And then all of a sudden people are like, oh, OK. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Oh, well, it's they're the legitimate. Same with, yeah. It's the same with Bitcoin and cryptos, right? That Silk Road shit got everybody like, oh, I could buy fucking guns. Drinks. Oh, fuck that. But then now it's like, oh, okay. It's the same shit, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah. Everything starts with a tranza, right? Everything starts with a tranza, bro. That's a shirt, right? How how is this this fucking uh, the whole human race not yeah. started with a tranza? Wait, that's that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, this fucking Snapchat got all popular, and that was like the, the fucking the 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 special pictures app, no? Oh Cause yeah, they yeah. Because it, it took like ten. Or you put how much time you wanted to fucking. Yeah, if I can once once you view it, it's gone. That was that's what literally that to the start of using for people. There was a, a new guy that like. That's uh, what it was, huh? Yeah, that's that was the only fans. Without yeah, getting paid. Was, yeah. <laughs> you want to send a mija fucking thing or she wants to send you a little video? But you know what? The, then then comes in I, the transa. I didn't find out that this until way later. But then like, comes in the transa because I knew a guy that he had like a, you know how you always have your spare phone or your old phone, right? Mm-hmm. And it still works. I mean, it can st- you can you still use a camera. So whenever he got a Snapchat, he got his other phone ready, ah. checked it and took a picture and it's like. Yeah. All right, yeah, it's a borro de este, pero guess what? There's still another yeah, fucking... Yeah, but it's kind of janky, way. Yeah, it I mean, is, you're, but... You're gonna ja- if I was masturbating to that picture, I'm going to look at the faded button. I'm be like, ah, oh, that's not that's not attractive. Let me, <laughs> it's let me zoom in. a little blurry. Yeah. Whole, oh, I mean, I'm sure you got the hand The whole my no. fucking hand in there, it's going to... Mm. Oh, look at that, no. Cayo. No. I, I wear. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, <laughs> dude, I got to stop biting my nails. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck, that's not exactly, healthy, dude. Right. I'm going to nah, get some bro. fungus on this shit. Yeah, stop being a sucio, bro. Yeah. Taking pictures. No, no, I knew the guy. Yeah, you. Are you I, sure I, you I, never, guy? I never had Nasty. Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> I never had Snapchat. You never had snatch chat. Snapchat. That's what he said. Snapchat. No, he said oh, snatch chat. That's a fucking tongue twister, right? I had to say the snatch chat. That's what he said. You had Snapchat. Snapchat. Uh, too bad it's a oh, vulgar shit. word, man. That'll be the episode fucking title. Snatch chat. Snatch. <laughs> snatch, snatch chat. This is the cabron. Are you going to get us canceled, no, bro? What, is it? Uh, what was it? Snatch chat? Hey, no. maybe you should fucking go fucking <laughs> uh, go buy the, the, URL, the fucking dot com for that, bro. Maybe you're onto something. Snatch chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at this hey, I'm on Snapchat <laughs> Shit I had a homie that, Francis. I had a homie That was cheating on this On this chick And he was communicating With this chick Through words with friends way With the side chick cause, Oh shit You know words with oh, friends yeah, You yeah, play yeah. Scrabble And then you can send A little message yeah, on the side yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when he would be like Hey what's up What are you doing I heard, oh, I heard, I heard that before <laughs> Chicante way Yeah I've heard that Transa before Where there, well, there's a world There's a way I guess That's out home way That's crazy bro Dead. Yeah, I've heard of that then so. I wonder how's and it then, going for them now that everything's pretty much uh, working rato, from home, bro. Luego al rato se enojan because uh, the, the, the partners the same, are like, hey, que onda? They call them toxicos or toxicas. No, mm-hmm. but that, that's the same guy that's like, that's like, hey, what are you doing, mija? Oh, I'm playing World with Friends. Let me see that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want you playing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you playing with? Who's this guy? Yeah. Let me see. I don't want you playing fucking World with Friends. Who's Leo That's Draco? True. That's true. Because <laughs> they know what they're doing. That's true, bro. They know yeah. what they're well, doing. You know what? Fu- hey, wait a minute. Hey, this guy's pretty smart. Yeah. <laughs> I, I heard that shit steals your information. Stop playing that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a China app. Steals yeah, your information. Yeah, on TikTok, bro. That's a, they're, they're, they have your face on the to, billboard. I used to enjoy that, Words with Friends. I, I, I don't want you to have a Snapchat. I heard they steal your shit. I had like fucking like seven or eight different people playing at the same time. Yeah. There was trans, there was apps that were transas for that. Did you know that? No, no, no. Oh, that you could cheat. You could like take a screenshot and then you upload into the app and it'll tell you what words you can use. Oh shit! Man, I never the did app. That. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm too fucking retrasado on all that shit. You yeah. Know? Cause I'm like I'm sure there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Like I used to have a repost app, and then uh, when I got a phone, uh, some Ecuador phone, and then I got it again. Mm-hmm. It was asking me for my password, and I couldn't remember it, so now I don't have it. <laughs> First world problems. Yeah, I know, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like fuck, and it's like you know, you might have this, but you need a nap, and I'm uh, like I don't fucking. Mm-hmm. I know, <laughs> fucking, I'm I'm too much of a boomer. You think so, bro? Yeah. Try try to get into it. Where you, I'm sure you. I, I'm well. Not that I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna definitely make the the effort. Now you're, that you're well, smart, after, dude, bro. Yeah, 
It's oh. just a. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thank sure you. you. Can, thank you. <laughs> thank you, audience. Thank you. Uh-huh. I'm sure you could read a fucking uh, multimeter where you can't fucking read an app. Can, figure yeah. out how to fucking post a pic. I can. I can break down Ohm's law for you too. Uh, está yeah, cabrón, yeah, right away. Uh, uh, está está cabrón, because um, I think about it like that way. Like, what if I'm lucky enough to be 60? Where what's gonna What's going to be like, um, I'm going to be a tapado in a few things. You yeah. Know? Or, or what's the youth going to be like? Well, sometimes we don't give them a lot of credit. Well, I think like, shit, if I'm 60, old oh man, hopefully I'm still a little fucking healthy. But if I get to the point where I'm barely fucking making it and somebody fucking beats the shit out of me just because I'm in the street. Mm-hmm. Like, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it sucks, dude. It sucks when people are like fucking. Uh, well, you might hear that. I mean, it's like. You're going to, like, we were talking about it last week, I think it was. Like, you and I, we don't have kids. Yeah. Who's going to take care of us, we? Yeah, I know. The old folks home. Yeah, but I'm going <laughs> to depend on a, on, a, on a stranger, on a nurse, yeah. that, or, you know. That's not a reason a to have kids away. No, I'm not saying that it is, but at least, you know. <laughs> he like, wants to, for, to put Fernie, the soldiers to I work. Know, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fernie, Fernie, Fernie at least, Fernie's at least going to have a couple of options. That's what you hope, but yeah. you don't know, bro. Well, hopefully they they have the the kids that are willing to because sometimes kids are a little mm-hmm. resentful on their parents. But yeah. maybe you'd be the cool grandpa, bro. No me compraste that Xbox. I can oh. see you being the cool grandpa. Yeah, who's gonna be the interesting grandpa? Yeah, grandpa, why do you keep throwing racist why, shit? Why do you keep taking <laughs> radios apart, grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking, for, grandpa? <laughs> uh, let me explain to you what Ohm's law is. <laughs> let, uh, let me tell you what this specific mortar does. Yeah. Nah, mm. when the mama. Doing- like yeah. own, that whole kids thing I, I mean it's um I'm yeah. have, what I've been thinking about it because we we were talking about like Bitcoin and and these 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 tech this this technology that's um that's that's trying to disturb currency way like shit that's been around for a long time you know I feel like there's a little correlation between like tech and like what's going on I mean look what Netflix did to Hollywood way I mean Netflix pretty much fucking turn it on his head Spotify. All these people, what they did to the fucking um, the music. music industry, um, what crypto's trying to do to the fucking um, banking. Banking. Uh, I was reading an article a couple of days ago of Google. Man, they're trying to disturb the education sector. Way, Google. Google. Yeah, they're fucking. Um, <clears throat> um, it, it's one of those things where, like, I, I know um, I'm, I'm talking about this like as somebody that that didn't go to school. To fucking like university, um, university. Oh, okay, um, I've never been a big fan of that way because I feel like it, it's not a good return on your investment when you think about it like that. Like I know a dude that works for my when my chick's job. He's an engineer out there. Way he makes a uh, hundred and twenty grand way, but he's in debt three hundred thousand dollars, bro, for the school. And he basically was like, "Dude, I'm not gonna pay it." So when you think about that, where you you when you think about school as an investment, not 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 only in the knowledge that you're going to get, but as an investment of the money that it's going to cost for you to get that education. Uh-huh. If he invests three hundred grand on that to get a hundred twenty grand a year, that's not he's not going to keep all that, obviously, right? Because he got expensive shit. Yeah. Um, I feel like maybe in our community way, we we give a lot of um, we tell our kids that school is is still like the way out of things, right? It's 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 definitely something to fall back on. And and yeah, that that's that is true, way. Uh-huh. And um and I don't know if uh, I mean I don't, I'm I don't, I'm not planning on having kids, way. But I don't know if that would be something that I would that I would try to push that on them is to go to school and and maybe um maybe I would push something different, way. But it's interesting what Google is trying to do, way. Um, they're, they're offering uh, like uh, like like they they saw the economy, they saw how everything's fucking taking the shit. People are fucking uh. You know, losing their jobs, and and I don't trust Google. I mean, as far as the company, but they're doing some things that are like it makes me think. We're like like humanitarian or or well, a few uh, moments later. <laughs> what they're doing, way is is they're 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 basically creating like a like an accredited uh, program, like a training. Yeah, they have a six month and a three month. Uh, it's not it's not out yet, but what they're what they're trying well, they, have, to, they already have a program. I wouldn't want to tell What they're, what they're trying to do is they're, they're trying to um, they they're they're offering these um these these, these like uh, not, I don't want to say scholarships, but it's just like you're you're certified in something, and these jobs are going to pay between seventy three and ninety five some thousand so depending on middle class money. Way. De- depending on like how how much uh, training you got. So there's a six month training 
And then there's a three month training. I'm assuming that the six months is going to be more into the hundred grand range. Mm-hmm. The other one, three. The point of this, bro, is what's very fucking interesting, dude, is that this this uh, this program is going to cost for the six months two hundred and forty dollars, and half of that is for the three month. And you go through the Google training; they're going to train you in something. I'm, sure, I'm assuming it's something with tech. Yeah, yeah, they have they, they have a program already similar to that way. So so you um so you. You finish your six months, you owe $240. You come out. Uh, of, course, of course, it's going to be really competitive. Of course. But, yeah. but that's people procrastinating, always making an excuse about shit. Like, oh, well, it's going to be hard. Yeah. Okay, well, be poor for the rest of your fucking or life. Or I'm going to be on a yeah. waiting list for like, I don't know. And, and so 240 bucks, way. I mean, to me, if I look at it as an investment, why would I spend fucking 20, 30 grand on a university? I mean, you, you, you. How many people do you fucking know realistically that went to school and is doing something that they really love to do? I, I know a couple. Yeah, I know a couple. I'm not gonna say uh, of all of them. Um, yeah, there's a handful, but I think a part of that is like I mean, we. I noticed that a lot of the well, not that I've noticed, but the people that I know that have been very successful and it's and and it's helped out. Most of them joined either a sorority or a fraternity. And that right there, it's like a like a brotherhood or sisterhood that that helps, like previous members help the future members to pay off their loans, to get a career, to make the connections, and they're able to you know to to work on their field, and a lot of them you know and the ones that I do know of, they've been very successful. You hardly hear them about in debt. Mm-hmm. You hardly hear them struggling. They like if anything, they they got helped to pay for that, but. Again, I never went through university. I never yeah. went to one of those, so I don't know how it is. Yeah. But I know I have a couple of family members that were in uh, fraternities. Mm-hmm. Super fucking successful. Um, I have a couple of uh, friends or acquaintances. What, what are your metrics to becoming successful? Because that's something well, that we have the to sense really, that like, really define too well, when we're having these conversations. Well, which is the typical one. When, like, uh, like they have a home. They have mm-hmm. a family. They got their cars and they got their savings and yeah. they're able to travel and, you know, live not um they're not struggling for the the you know where they're going to get something to eat or or how they're going to get clothes or anything successful in the sense that yeah they have a functioning home Mm -hmm. and they're not living day by day dollar by dollar or paycheck by paycheck yeah you know in that sense i'm not talking about you know well i mean um come to the personal wealth or anything like that it's just in the sense of successfulness because of their schooling or their career or Mm -hmm. their partner or whatever it is you know, in that sense. So that's what I've known. Now, I know that a lot of them that went on their own because they didn't join a fraternity or because they didn't have the money and they got loans and they got scholarships and all that. Yeah, they struggle a little bit. And sometimes, I mean, it's a career that you choose. But, I mean, at 18, do you fucking know where you're going to be for the rest of your life? A, a lot of it is you're... you're, you're um Because this dude, Lewis, that I gave a shout out to in the beginning, I was having a conversation with him about this too. And he was basically saying like, a lot of it is like you just go to school to please your fucking parents to get them off mm-hmm. your ass. Yeah. And so you don't know what you're doing. And then you go to school <laughs> and, you, and you end up figuring out like, man, like, what am I doing? Like, it's crazy, bro. I mean, everybody is entitled to gamble with their life and their money. Right? But I think what, what Google is trying to do is the, or what they're doing um, is definitely very interesting, man, to see well, how that's going to play out. Well, I think that, um, I mean, as a person that has kids, I. I'm going to tell them to go to college way or university, whatever you want to call it way. But I'm, I'm not going to force them to pues, or if I see that por decir their, their thing, their goal maybe, or what fits them more is, is like a trade or something way or some sort of certification, then yeah, well, I'll, I'll encourage them to do that. But I mean, growing up, the time that they don't know or they haven't figured that out, I'm going to push the, the university college way because you definitely have more potential to make money with that way. Like without having to, I don't want to say without hustling because you're still going to hustle at school or whatever. But when you come out, you have potential to make more, pues, if you pick the right thing, pues, you know? Well, well go, but, what's for you, right? But I, I think where the disconnect is, is uh, like in this country way, is that we say that, like we put a lot of emphasis on college, university, y que schooling, y que then it is. But the disconnect comes with, with, with the fucking, oh, but we don't want to pay the teachers, but fucking the college costs fucking you come out of debt two hundred thousand dollars in debt way, so is school really a priority for us way? If we make it so expensive and so like um, hard to come back from, pues yeah, you'll get a good job like you're saying your homie could, makes one hundred and twenty, but he owes two hundred and fifty. Like there's a disconnect there way. Is it really a priority for us 
if we're not making the school cheaper way, if we're not making it affordable, if we're not making, okay, maybe we don't have to say free way. Like, you know, people get all crazy that if you want to make it free or cancel those debts and shit. But there's other countries where it is free or where it is cheap or even the like the the Cal State system that we had that that it was like the like the jewel of the country for a long time. Way like because we were the first state that had like a whole like uh, university system way. The whole point of it was to make it cheaper way to make it a state schools and it's cheaper. And now even those are like crazy expensive way. So there's a disconnect way. Is it really a priority that we're telling our kids? Yeah, school, college, university, blah, blah, blah. But yet that school we can't even pay for way, mm. you know they they have to come out in debt way. They, there's just like a disconnect. And same thing goes down, trickles down to the teachers way. Everybody always complains about the teachers way. Is it really a priority if we're not paying our teachers like what they're worth or whatever way, however you want to put it, you know? Mm-hmm. So in this country, is a whole disconnect with school way. Okay, yeah. we we say it's important, but we don't back it up like with money way. Yeah, I mean, I I agree for the most part of what both of you guys said. Way the the only thing that I don't really Will agree on is 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 the focus on both of you guys said like the money when yeah money is really important I, I i totally fucking get that dude everything that i'm doing is to be financially secure but at the end of the day we like um i feel like a, a currency that's really more important is just being happy and fulfilled like and, and hence like, goes. like like you i i know i know uh, one dude that was a lawyer that hated his fucking job dude he went to school, paid it, and hated his job. Now he's running his uh, his dad's printing shop. Like he's doing something that's totally away from that. And and that's one of the the concerns that I have in our community is we do focus on that uh, secure, make the money. And I don't know, man. I feel like when you when you're like our age tonight, we're we're doing a podcast. We're doing shit that's like, wait. Why didn't we follow? I mean, yeah. I, I try to follow my dream, but I didn't really. I didn't really push it the way I should have. Um, I, if I was to go back, dude, I would rather fucking just travel away, learn so much from yeah. other cultures, not really worried about fucking going. I went to community college, but like my early to mid 20s, I would have loved to just travel, get culture, learn about shit, meet people because you start meeting people. And then eventually, I, I think. Um, I think that would have been a, a if if obviously I can't go back way, right? but but I feel like in, in our community we we focus a lot on the safe way, the secure and okay, yeah, but is it really beneficial way right? when when people it's not really yeah, working? But like well, from what I'm saying, wait, like I'm not saying I'm gonna tell my kid, hey, you have to be a licenciado, you have to be a doctor, like yeah, choose your way, way, but I'm still gonna push school, the school, man, in this because like. I guess in a way it gives you that fallback, but like when we see the, your example, the dude that, that that makes 120, is he? I mean, he has the debt, but is he happy? Like the job that he got, is he is he good in his job? No, he's not happy. Where? So then, like he should have never. And that's the thing, but that that's what he that's, says that sometimes we do a lot of things just to keep the parents happy, just to, to get have them off money. the back. He knew he was gonna make over 100, 20, 130, and yeah. he followed that path. Yeah, because the money's almost, I don't want to say worthless if, if you're not happy, wait, but it's gonna cause you problems, wait. Fuck, yeah. dude, uh, I don't think it's even worth it, bro. If you're not gonna be happy, what's well, gonna, you have 130 a year, well, like, um, I, don't, I don't know if if that's, that's a good metric to like, okay, that dude's fucking. No, no, that's why I say it, it gives you the potential, pues. There's potential to make. Not easier money, but start off a little fucking better, boys. Well, but does it, it doesn't guarantee, boys, like that you're gonna be happier, boys. Mm-hmm. So what? That's what I'm saying. What's important? Where is it important to have a, a ecosystem that you're paying your bills, you have a house, but if you're not happy, where you're working fucking twenty eight, uh, twelve hour days, where you're exhausted. Mm-hmm. I mean, is it really? Like- yeah, but it, it for me, for like my kids' way, it's the same thing as a, how we always say way that that as a raza we don't. We don't think like long term, and we don't like leave our kids like like uh, like uh, some fucking savings or like properties or something. Yeah. But por si say if I was a fucking, I had a bunch of properties way, and I left them for my kids way, and now they have to maintain them or they have to fucking get a company. Maybe they might like the money coming in, but maybe they're gonna be stressed out of fucking. Of, of maintaining them, yeah. all that shit, women. Because this? they might not have the the val- They don't or, have the value that you had. To or maybe it. That, they, don't, that's or a the good they don't care about that. Uh, but shit. it's not. But it's I mean, not their thing. Yeah, but you're giving them a step up, Wes. So you might not want it. Okay, you might not want to deal with it. You can sell it, bro. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. Same thing. If you have a degree, sometimes you get with that degree. Way in this field, say you get an engineering degree, you get another job that that they require, pues, like a bachelor's. But they they. 
the, like I don't want to say that the what the what you focused on didn't matter way, but they just want to know you went to school bus. Mm -hmm. Or or también you went to UCLA and then you got an, uh, whatever engineering degree, you go get another Hale that you you like that because this guy was a UCLA an alumni, you guys clicked, got a Hale way. Mm -hmm. Or he was in your sorority. Cause, so, I mean, or fraternity. Oh, your fraternity <laughs> sorority. Fuck. Hey, maybe it was a chick. Wait, well, maybe, well, maybe, we, yeah. Hey, for, get it get I mean, canceled, but bro. But you were pointing oh, at yeah. me. <laughs> and, and then, I'm saying you just want to give him a, a, a leg up, Wes. Like a, get him a little bit ahead. It doesn't mean it's going to work out for him. Mm -hmm. But just, you know, give him, give him a little push. You see... Works out. It works out. If it doesn't, well, I mean, but you I mean, You have to agree, though. A lot of this, uh, not successfulness, but a good part of successfulness is connections, knowing, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, fucking networking. Networking. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of times school does that to you. Just like, you know, the, the, the type of work that we do, even this podcast. This or kinda, you become a marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this podcast, look at how many how many people we've met, how many how much we've networked with it. Yeah, yeah. You know? And yeah, we didn't go to school for this, but we followed this. And like you said, if we would have known, we would have, you know. I'm going to start a podcast university, bro. Oh, shit. And charge 250000 <sighs> That, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like tra traveling, Patent, uh, pending, covered on this. Uh, traveling right after high school. Like, not only are you getting culture, but you're learning how to deal with different people. You're learning how to deal. But I mean, when, like, you, when you talk about traveling, we can travel now, way. Eh? Can we? You got fucking chingo weeks vacation. No, oh, yeah, but I mean, yeah, well, I'm, I'm working towards that. Yeah, I'm, wor I'm working I'm towards you, that life that I should have. That 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 if I would have been smart as a kid, if I had the right fucking. Um, but you probably wouldn't have the money, way. Eh? I'm not following the money. It's no, a byproduct saying, of how, how you no, fly the, 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 yeah, but it's the, a byproduct of me being consistent. Like Manu Chao, you're gonna yeah. be like the Manu Chao, traveling and work. While no, you're I, I, I fucking love money, dude. Oh. I love money. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I want money. No, but I'm saying that the I, I want money, but I'm not focused on. I, I'm I'm focused on on being creative. I'm focused on the product. I'm I I, I understand that the money is gonna come. Like. I'm not like just I want the money. Yeah. I, I'm focused on content. I'm focused on on branding myself. I'm focused on on being a, a utility for somebody because I know that the byproduct of all that is money, way. But not that's not like my. I'm not saying I'm gonna start a YouTube channel to make money. No, I understand that money is gonna come if I'm consistent. If I make good shit that people want to watch, all that's gonna come with it. No, but I'm I'm saying when when people say like, "Oh, I, I wish I would have traveled when I was younger." You can travel now, way. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have fucking studied engineering. And I will. You can go back and, and study engineering, way. And I will. Look at that vato we just talked about that was like, just got out, got out of prison. He's like 60 or 50. Yeah. Uh, and he got his degree. Yeah. I mean, the, this this I wish could have doesn't really exist in our world yeah. anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's it, yeah, I get what you're saying, way. But it's not really the same thing, way, because you, you don't have the, the mortgage when you're 20. Now you can't just say I want to travel. No, no. Now you gotta uh, yeah, yeah. you gotta put your shit when you're 20. You know what do you have under your name? Your fucking phone. Your phone. And like, maybe, maybe the car that you fucking that you, you lease. Yeah, but and I'm definitely not saying that I, I'm not gonna do it. I, I I totally understand that I can travel. And that's what I'm doing. Everything is to have that freedom. Yeah. yeah. To travel. So I'm not, I'm not giving up on it. I'm just saying it, there's a little adjustment that I have to do. It's not so easy like when I was 19. Now I have to have something that's kind of a passive income that I can have that lifestyle where if I want to go there, I want to go I'm there. already thinking of retiring at 55. Well, yeah. Shit, <laughs> same here, bro. I want to retire at 55. I'm not, I'm not trying to work well, fucking yeah. 60. What's no, that, fuck that. What's that saying? The, 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 fuck, come on the working that. man's a sucker? <laughs> no nah, <laughs> way. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm too far from the soundbite. I'm, so <laughs> I'm too far from the soundbite. Way. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, the, the saying, the, come on, the, the, Youth is wasted on the young or algo así. Oh, okay. Or yeah, algo así, yeah, I no? kind of get it, yeah. Yeah, the, the fucking, the, you don't know in those tiempos like shit like we're talking about now. Oh, yeah, for sure, bro. That's for what sure. I'm saying. So, I mean, and, and you can't go back in time, so you just got to. It's kinda, that fucking dreaded what have, should have, could have. Well, know? that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Hypothetically, like uh, if you want to really like think about it, I'm looking at my life right now like if I'm 19 because uh, when I'm 60, it's like I'm 39. So I'm looking at it. As a as a sixty year old, I'm gonna look at my thirties and say, "What the fuck, dude? Again? What I was know. I saying? Like again, fuck? again, bro? You were fucking living hey. thirty, regretting your twenties. Hey, young shufflers, <laughs> if there's any of you listening to this right now, hey, you know, in your twenties or like you know whatever, fucking just take this take this advice as a grain of salt, man. Like fucking start 
They're not gonna listen. I know they're not, no, man. Everybody, not. every even people our age right now, they're they're not gonna fucking. But no. but you know what? It's okay because I'm not trying to convince anybody, bro. I'm just having a conversation. No, I know. But... My advice to you: <laughs> start drinking heavily. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's terrible advice, bro. Um, I was just bullshit, <laughs> and you know <laughs> this, <laughs> man. Oh man, bro. Yeah, it's just um. I, I don't know, man. I'm just I'm just changing my relationship with money, dude. Because, I mean, I've always had a bad relationship with it because I would stigmatize it. You, you know, have it it's the root of all <laughs> evil. Yeah. Like only this and that. But then I'm, as I'm getting on, I'm like, mm, no, 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 no. It's it's just having that freedom, you know, to live life. And 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 not you know it's just having the freedom not to live life but just having the freedom yeah, exactly bro yeah. it's just to be free to do my goal is to just say if I want to <laughs> go fucking somewhere right now yeah. uh, it's a Tuesday I want to be able to go yeah let, let, let me just fucking get my passport and let me go I'll be back on Thursday or Friday <laughs> get busy living <laughs> or get busy oh, shit, fucking- get busy living again. or get busy dying. But but you know what, bro? There's there's definitely nothing wrong with with the nine to five grind. I'm not I'm not trying to say like you people are fucking in the rat race and you fucking sheep. Yeah, nah, dude. That's definitely what I'm not saying, bro. Yeah. I'm just saying like as far as me as somebody that that needs to be somehow creative, I don't work well with the fucking those structures way. And <clears throat> and it's perfect that I that I try to start shit at the age that I am now, right? Because. I guess I'm a little bit more mature than when I was 21, so I, I guess I would be able to handle finances a little better. I would hope so. Imagine, dude, you fucking <laughs> yeah. you're 20 and you get like some money, and what was I gonna do with 20 with cash, bro? <laughs> fucking get a stereo, Jesus fucking clothes, Christ, bro. and, and strip take, bars. And, yeah, strip bars. I'll be at fucking, fucking. I'll be at Sam's Hop, bro, every fucking night. Fuck yeah! Hey, play my jam, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rodrigo, you know what you gonna like? <laughs> There we go. Share, bro. So everything happens at the right time, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Everything well, happens the way it's supposed to happen, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. It was the right time, bro. Oh, fucking Hey, a. but uh, I don't know shit about finances, bro. I'm just some guy a in the podcast moments later. talking shit, man. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't, we don't know. I mean, yeah. look, look at us. We're fucking... Yeah, we're, we're yeah, still kind of surviving. Some nickels right here. Yeah, we're still fucking kind of surviving. We're but I want to before we call it before we call it a uh, uh, right end. Right. Jesus Christ, bro! We're, I'm, I was gonna start I talking know, about uh, uh, the medical <laughs> system. <laughs> oh, I thought Fernie was getting <laughs> ready. Kidding, right? I yeah, saw Fernie getting ready with the with the, with with the with announcements. The announcements. Fernie, wait! I wanted to talk about. Uh, no, I don't know why he's putting it on me, way. Well, I know because he picked up his phone. I'm like, oh, he's getting ready. I, this to. is like the, the like 12th time, real quick. I, oh, I just noticed it right now. It's the first time he fucking brings it up. Pero Raza, fucking uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, March 17th, Fernando and I will be hosting the Chicano Shuffle St. Patrick's Ditching Party. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's a ditching party? A ditching party. It's man. a ditching party, man. We're I'm ditching not, work. I'm not in high school, bro. We're, we're ditching work. We just finished saying we're mature adults, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the time to be the time. <laughs> the time, I think we're going to try to uh, be on by noon. And I know if anybody going back to this in the archives and everyone listening like three years later, because yeah, you missed out, you know? But yeah, this is going to be March 17th, 2021. Fucking last year, what we ended up doing, we were playing Call of Duty and having beers that day. Oh shit! Last year? Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah the, because uh, the, we were supposed the world to go to. Is over. Yeah, we were supposed to go to Casey's and they canceled it. Like I think what was it, March 11th? They the they fucking the World Health Organization dijo chales con esto, and then uh, they canceled the St. Patrick's uh, Day celebration. So we this ended up playing. Is the end. Yeah, my only, my only friend. The end. So don't forget that. Raza, we have merch at ChicanoShuffle.com on the shop. Uh, we also have a Patreon. Thank you. I know we have uh, some new Patreon. Stall. Mm, Stall. Oh, that, that, that's what you were doing, Fernie. Uh, let me, uh, speaking of Patreon, ver, so everybody, well, not everybody, but two two people out of everybody that listens has been asking about the meditation music. And um, so I, 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 posted, uh, I posted them for sale 
on a site that I linked up to my uh, YouTube Instagram. Uh, if you go on Instagram, uh, Draco the Guitarist, D R A C K O the Guitarist, you can find all the links there. But what, what we did, um, I was talking to um, management. We had a board meeting this week. Yeah. So I created a, 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 a download coupon code that's going to be offered to the people on Patreon. So I post off in there. So you guys will have access as, as, as long as you guys are Patreon members, you'll have access to download any songs that, that I create on that, just like as a thank you. So there, there'll be like meditation music there. Um, if you guys play guitar, there'll be like some backing tracks there that I make that like something like this one right here that we do for the for the shuffle. I'll make songs like that. And then if you want to practice your guitar with them, you can practice your lead stuff. Um, but definitely the, the meditation stuff, I think uh, some people were interested in that. Um, so they'll be offered um, with the code. I don't know if this dude did it already, but I'm sure when, by the time this airs, it'll be up there. It'll yeah. be up there. And so we're just trying to do little more more things for you guys, man, because I know we, we've been kind of lagging a little bit. Kind of. We've been fucking super lagging, dude. Yeah. Yeah, way pinche was the. I think I, I think I did put a post on on Patreon about this, but COVID. I think for for a lot of people, at least for they got the I've creative to, juices. Yeah, no, that should have been like a creative time for everybody somehow. Became more of like a black hole, no? Like somehow everybody's caught up on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, but I mean, everybody kept, became like, Ramon, and they, they didn't even create creative things. They watched creative things. Yeah, but the thing is, like Esteban and myself, we didn't stop working. You know, we yeah, weren't, we weren't true. at home, that's or true. like you know, like where we had some downtime or anything. No, we we, we kept working, and I know Fernie got more more to responsibilities because now he had his kids at home mm -hmm. and everything so i yeah, know that it's harder to record like yeah. these little episodes when the exactly. kids are running around with yeah, yeah so i know a lot of people had the time to be creative more props to you and some of them like what they say like and it's okay if you didn't mm -hmm. you know it's all right yeah, yeah. it's yeah, all it was, right it was a weird time maybe. it's a weird time and yeah. you know maybe you wanted to work out more but then they shut down your gym and then you wanted to get the fucking you know your workout gear and fuck you couldn't find it and if you did it was too expensive and you just didn't yeah so it's okay or not really and you just used it as an excuse yeah I mean, we get that too también you know <laughs> so it's all right if you weren't if you didn't get your goals or what you wanted to do during this pandemic time but you know what guess what you're still here yep you can still make a change and guess what there'll probably be other pandemics that you maybe you can prep now <laughs> you'll so, be ready for the stock, next one that's for stock sure up on water bro water yeah this guy that's gonna be a commodity yeah. right there water and seeds well no yeah, yeah this and toilet paper I, I, nah I mean, wait, don't spread that <laughs> shit bro we're, we're joking but water just became a commodity just like yeah. gold and oil and everything. really like a few months ago, it just became like a commodity where people are now trading futures of water. Yeah, don't wow. buy Nestle shit because they steal the water from cities. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> from the tap. Yeah, yeah. No, they don't. they they like <laughs> they secretly yeah. connect the fucking pump and through the back fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's, there's reminds a, me of the sneaky butcher. There, there, it's more than just that one. No, there's a few. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. But that, fuck that, Nestle. That literally like filter your mm -hmm. tap water away from the city. I know that Crystal Geyser is up uh, towards Mammoth. I don't yeah. know. That's what I drink ever since our homie yeah. from Maslan that's Herbal Men here. Remedies. Same here. That's I used to it. hate fucking... Crystal geyser. I used to call it Crystal Geezer. Like, <laughs> fuck that fucking water. <laughs> but since our homie from Maslan Herbal Remedies... Um, <laughs> wink, wink. He was like, nah, bro, you can't be drinking that shit. I was like, all right, bro. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. all right. So, yeah, and I remember because when we went up to Mammoth, uh, you see the plant or the, uh -huh. or the distribution center right yeah. inside. So it's coming. It's locally. It's from Mammoth. Shit. I mean, we, we kind of just like graced upon this dude's comment but that's crazy that water is a commodity yeah. now man it makes you think it's gonna get there it's gonna know. be fucking uh, Mad Max Thunderdome style you, you know who also called that one uh. well I mean I'm sure a lot of people called it but the the, the first time I heard of it like referred as a commodity get, like you should be the buying the Beatles no they should be buying water futures and shit <laughs> no that guy from the the, the big uh, what's it called the, the big, big, the, the, the fucking, big short, the big short, the yeah. fucking uh, oh, Christian the, Bale character, yeah, the real yeah. life guy, the guy that made money on GameStop. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. he in that in that movie at the end, if you read the thing, it says he's now into buying water. Wait. Man, we're gonna he's buying, he's buying shares like in companies that that, that the, the fucking uh, the companies. air is next, bro. You're just gonna fucking <laughs> a bottle there. Psh, no shit, way, but the way we're polluting it, yeah, yeah. Right. Ahí están los, los top two, güey. El otro ya le dimos. No, All right. shit. Patreon. All right, up. the top two. Well, these, this week's. Um, just want to give a big shout out to Fernando Hubbard. Tocayo. Gracias, Hans. Eh, el, Fer el Fernando. And then Antonio Lopez Jr. 
Oh, that's that. Hey, man, you gotta be something with that name, bro. That, yeah. that, that sounds like it should be on like some credits. Fuck yeah, dude. Like <laughs> Antonio Lopez Jr. Doctor. Gracias, homie. <laughs> and, uh, and then I know you said the last one, uh, no cuenta, but this guy, I've heard that he's like the <laughs> official <laughs> meme supplier for Astafalas, el Brian Reyes. Those memes are a little crazy sometimes. Does he yeah. want to be thrown on blast? Hey, like he wants uh, to. He's an official supplier, he said. He's a, he's their fucking their dealer. He's a meme plug. Yeah, he's. <laughs> <laughs> Is <laughs> shit. So that's a, like uh, like again, Patreon subscribers or um, sponsors. You you know you can get the music that uh, Esteban creates and everything. There, we have do have some special episodes there or some special ones for for the new ones. They want to go back and there's uh, some for Fernando, Esteban, and myself. I know. <laughs> Uh, we do have our merch store at um, ChicanoShuffle.com. Hey, bro, um, I, I got hit up uh, for that immigrant shirt made, bro. Are we going to do it or should I do it on the... Well, that's the, the special... That's a special, special edition one. That's a special edition one for... For what? For fucking charity shit. Well, that's charity. Jesus, I own the trademarks to that. How did that become a special? Well, we use it to it like whenever we. Wing. Yeah, well, whenever there's a <laughs> like you know what the vendors and all this and the farm workers. Sure. I think we did. Right, a, wait, I'm, I'm gonna start fucking having to put it on paper and getting signatures. Wait, for it. I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, we should have I'm it out without, without the. I know. Well, I know that one. Has. Well, you know make what? It special anymore? Wait. No. Well, you know what, Fernie? If you were just to do it without the the special, like just to make it. What I'm saying. Then, but the ones that we do special, this for. Yeah, like, yeah. It's still special because it says on there. It's a limited run that says. Mm, mm. Well, we'll talk about it. We'll see. I'm gonna release it then. <laughs> see, you guys, hit me up for that he's shirt. Gonna, he's gonna undercut us, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> And Raza, this episode was brought to you by las oficinas legales de el señor Aquiles Baeza Vergara. Les ayuda with any type of deals que fucking Union your neighbor. Busting. Yeah. Your, your neighbor quiere que te moches el aguacate because his leaves are fucking and ancestors. Give him a call. Yeah. Que fucking el güey del trabajo fucking keeps taking your parking spot. Fucking call him. He'll take care of it, eh? And no solo se olvide, este es el licenciado o el abogado que le pone punta a todos sus asuntos. El licenciado aquí, aquí les va a esa vergara. Alright, con eso decimos a ratos vetare. Don't forget, Wednesday, March 17th, 2021, around noonish. We don't know yet, but somewhere around there, we're gonna go live. We'll go live, and I uh, hope you can join us. Don't forget, get your chelas, get your party mode, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll have some giveaways. We will. I gotta put this on paper and get people to sign. <laughs> Not like, only that. It's like I don't. Okay. We have no idea how this is gonna go. We haven't planned anything. We just said, hey, let's do this. We will. And we don't know how it's gonna go. That's We just go on the fly. Um, anything else? Am I missing anything for that? No? No? I hope not. Really. All right. Muchachos, take us all out. Just getting warmed up.